Hey guys, what is going on? Looks like we're live. We're here with Team Top 5 Live. My name is Manny David. I'm going to be your host today. You guys can find me at Cascade Sense, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's been a kind of a rush of a week for all of us, and uh, we'll get into some of that in just a bit as well, but I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce, to introduce everyone, uh, starting with, let's see, who's on the left first. All right, uh, Mr. AKG Headphones, who are you? And where are you from? Um, I'm the Fragrance Apprentice. Um, England is my city. Mm -hmm. And if it weren't for Team Top 5, then the US would be shitty. I'll now pass it over back to Manny, because you know he stay litty. Good Lord. I, 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 I'm not sure if you guys are ready for that. But uh, I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Thanks, George. Um, I love how Tim's like kind of a minority here, because he's the only Amer American this time. Uh, but I'll pass it over to my <laughs> fellow Canadian. And uh, Mr. Other Yellow Headphones, uh, Jay Royal. What's going on, everyone? This is James from the channel Jay Royal, and I am from the T dot the six X. Um, and because George forgot this time, my scent of the day is. Oh. I'm giving Panda a try by Zoologist because I got to represent Toronto. What yeah. up? What's up? So if you guys don't already know, Zoologist Perfumes is a Toronto-based indie niche fragrance brand, and uh, they got some awesome awesome stuff. Check them out if you haven't yet. No, this is not paid, uh, but shout-outs to ZP and J Royal right there. But to my Asian homie, who are you and where are you from? Hi, guys. My name is Timmy. I'm from the channel Imagine Scent. I'm currently, like he said, the only USA person in here, which is strange. Usually we bodied Manny with the USA account. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, repping, repping today for <laughs> Mr. Trump. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh my so, so uh, my scent of the day today is actually nothing yet. So let me, let me put on something really quick. Oh, how about this one? I just got this. Lanoid Frozen Cologne. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Good for you, man. Yeah. Um, since uh, George and I whiffed on this, I'll say my scent of the day. Here it is. It's, um, you know, shouts to the UK over there with... Uh, Poil yep. Ventois by Le Labo. So yep. very peppery uh, kind of fragrance. Definitely fitting for the fall and the winter. It's very hot right now, but I wanted to get a taste of this, and that's why I'm wearing it. But what about you, Mr. George? My scent of the day is something I actually did an unboxing and first impressions video of today. I'm not going to totally give you my thoughts on it, because obviously that would spoil the video. Yes, sir. Um, but, but is this Team Top 5 exclusive live, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I, don't th I don't even think I heard that. Um, but it's actually the legendary um, Much Hyped um, and something I've been wanting to have in my collection for quite a while. It's CH Men. Okay. New reformulation. Nice. All right. Good to know. Uh, well, let's see, guys. Uh, of course, if you... Uh, haven't noticed uh, we are on a different channel this time one that we've only been on once previously which was our debut week last week and uh, it's a brand new channel uh, which we'll primarily be doing our uh, designated team top five live streams on from now on so we're not going to rotate mm -hmm. amongst our channels anymore uh, so if you are in the audience and you are enjoying what you are seeing and hearing here uh, please give us uh, a like a subscribe and feel free to you know let everyone else know in your fragrance community circles about our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And we're trying to do this not only for ourselves because it's fun to get it together with each other, but uh, we want to do this for y'all too. So the more you guys are involved, we'd appreciate it. And feel free to ask us any questions as well as we will be getting to answering them by the end of the show. So keep that in mind. That being said, today's show, we have a lot to get to. Or not a whole lot. It's not going to be a huge show, but uh, this is uh, going to be our CD exclusive hype, as you guys may see. Again, my scent of the day is Poivre Vang Trois by Le Labo. We'll be talking about what we would want our CD exclusives to be like uh, in the major cities that we may or may not live in. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll discuss what brand and whatnot and what perfumer we'd want to make those scents. Uh, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but for now, it's been a big week, uh, at least for I know... Uh, James, myself, and Tim. I know we all met up last week, which was lovely. Uh, <laughs> and I know a few of us have uh, picked up some fragrances as of late. So I want to discuss quickly uh, what is our favorite pickup this week or this month and why. So I'm going to request, uh, since 
uh, he's a person I haven't spoke to the most of in the last week. Uh, Mr. Mr. George Atkinson, Brandon's apprentice, <laughs> what is your favorite pickup this week or this season and why? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's only the beginning of like the autumn awesome season. Um, uh, Bond number nine, uh, New Harlem is definitely up there, but let's keep it sort of topical. Um, I might as well just say, come out and say it. This really surprised me. Um, I, I really uh, enjoyed this. It's good, cool to not be such a snob and actually buy a designer again. Um, even in the, I mean, I mean, shouts to uh, Jeremy. You know, in the case of, it's hard to hype up a fragrance. You know, to, to the point of the way that you hyped it. Your mic has a little bit of problem. Yeah, just record oh, well, when you're talking. Yeah. Oh, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's difficult, difficult to hype a, a fragrance. Oh wait, I'm not saying anything. Mike. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All right, all right. Hang on. Um, is this one? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you condensing. That one. All right. It, it, am I coming in too hot? Am I like really yeah, loud? You're, or you're loud. Okay, I'll, I'll just stay. I'll just stay over here. Sorry, yeah. guys. Jesus. <laughs> Second stream on the on the channel. I'm already screwing it up. I'm sorry. Ch men really like it. I think it's really cool. I'm looking forward to having a lot of adventures with it. Um, and it's going to be. I think it's it's very promising. So there we go. Really? Oh, okay. All right. No, yeah. that's awesome. Good. It's good to hear. Uh, you know, some love come out of that fragrance. Uh, come out for that fragrance lately because I know there's a few people, including myself, that were kind of uh, disgruntled with the reformulation. Not that I was a big fan of the previous formulation myself. Oh, guys, what are your what are your thoughts on CH Men uh, Eau de Toilette by Carolina Herrera? Uh, James, I, I I actually just talked about this fragrance in my video that I filmed today, which mm. you guys will find out soon. Uh, oh. I, I like it. I also think that the original is very similar to the reformulation. I, I bought the reformulation first. It was the silver cap reformulation, not the gold one. And um, I, I was able to stumble across a red ribbon vintage formulation because a guy on Craigslist, he didn't know about the reformulation, so I got a very good price on it. Uh, <laughs> nice. Long story short, it's, it's pretty much the same fragrance as far as I'm concerned. It does the same job. The longevity is very similar. And uh, although I, I do really like it, you know, I think it's I think it's a great date scent. It's not not cuddly like a Lanoui, but uh, but for like a seductive, sexy fragrance, it does the job. Yeah, that's a good point that you made about it being not cuddly, because like for the way I've heard certain faces uh, hype it in the past, I thought that it would be that. You know what I mean? Uh, but I just don't feel like it's as magnetic as I love hey. um, EDT by Yves Saint Laurent or something like that. Or other, you know, um, previously hyped uh, quote-unquote panty droppers. So that's, a, that's an interesting thing. Like the one EDP or something? Yeah, exactly. Like, I just don't think it's on that level. Um, how do you feel about that, Tim? Hmm? How do you feel about Hello, that? Tim. <laughs> Tim, are you there? Hello? Oh, sorry. I think I lost you guys for like a second there. My headphone was loose. Either that or you weren't paying attention. <laughs> One of those two. Tim, <laughs> answer the question, please. What was the question? Oh, my Tim, God. Tim, we're, not Tim we're, on, we're on this thing called Team Top 5, right? Uh, we're only live in front of several Did amounts of people. That James said about CH Men by any chance. Oh, CH Men. Um, Did you hear anything George said about CH Men? <laughs> Have you I, heard anything? <laughs> Tim, I, I, I need... I need <laughs> it's okay, Timmy. What, what are your thoughts on CH Men, yes. basically? CH Men. Oh, I think CH Men is an okay fragrance. I think it's a bit uh, hype, though, uh, from mm. Jeremy Fragrance. You, uh, when I watched his fall list, I actually went out and tried to find it. I smelled it. And I was like, it wasn't all that impressive to me. Mm -hmm. um, for the amount of praise that he gave it. So it's such an okay fragrance. Yeah. Uh, I recall him saying that, you know, you can, like, you know, spray it on homegirl's pillow and stuff like it's that. It's the one-night stand fragrance. the one-night stand fragrance. Yeah. And, and she'll run yeah, to your house yeah. the next day and um, get you laid again. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not speaking against that whatsoever. But for whatever reason, like, if I had that mentality in mind, I'm probably going to search for... Or reach for, you know, like James said, the one eau de parfum for men, Lanoui de l'homme, something like that. I, I just feel like it's just not, 
it just ain't strong enough. Like that did not last on like anything I sprayed on. But no, uh, no that's a uh, it's it's an interesting fragrance to read. It's unique too. It's not it's many people unique. reach for it. Like the one is is mainstream as yeah. as it gets, right? Mm -hmm. So and Lanoui is you know getting there in the mainstream world. Definitely the frag com. Oh yeah. Uh, so so at least the uniqueness right. gives you a calling card. Yeah. No, yeah. Exactly. The thing that really surprised me, I mean, it wasn't at all kind of what I expected. I was expecting leather and vanilla, okay. like a vanilla ice cream and leather, but it's not. And that, that sort of grassy punch at the beginning was a bit sort of like, oh, right, but it kind of works. It's a trademark it's, from it's, Carolina Herrera since. But I'm happy about that, you know, because I associate them with 212. Yeah, which has I appreciate to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, it's cool to see that consistency from a fragrance house or brand. Uh, because sometimes you see designer brands and you're not sure what you're going to get as far as um, what are they known for nowadays. And sometimes you just don't know, uh, which is yeah. interesting. Uh, because like I would, there's a couple like lines that I just feel like that could have been from anyone else's house, you know. But at yeah. least Carolina Herrera is trying to keep it real with himself, so that's cool. Um, anyway, uh, James, your pick up this week or season or whatnot what's your favorite thing that you got lately sir this week i picked up the trio of the dunhill icon fragrances this was and, big <laughs> this was yeah big. and the one huge. very big and very heavy um they uh I'm very i like i like them all so much but i'm most excited for the fall season um for icon elite oh, i think nice. this one is very masculine sexy fall fragrance uh Absolute is beautiful too, but more so catered to winter because it's sweeter. And then Dunhill Icon is just your standard signature scent that maybe is better for warmer weather. So this guy I plan on wearing quite a bit, especially to work when I want to be super alpha on the job sites. Uh, mm. Yeah, really love this stuff. Okay, so um, forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, Icon Elite. Um, actually, not Icon Elite. Uh, Absolute. Uh, which, note-wise, from what I remember, is kind of you know geared towards you know your harsher elements, of course. Like, uh, is there maybe a problem with its performance, or have you not like given that a shot yet? Because like, I haven't I've heard some things. I've only tested it on my on my on my arm. I haven't given a full wearing yet, just because it's that sweet, leathery, woody vibe. Uh, I haven't had an occasion to wear it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had great performance with the other two. Good. That's what I can say. All righty, nice, nice. Um, Tim, your your thoughts on the Icon Trio? Um, I only tried the original Dunhill Icon, and um, I wasn't. Uh, I thought it was a good fragrance, but it wasn't for me. The other two I have not tried yet. I didn't have any chance to try them. Really, there's there's none of those available here. Only the originals available here. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That's um, another thing. I feel like the distribution for the Icon Trio is not high whatsoever. Um, I sometimes will only see Icon at an actual distributed retailer, yet see the other two on their online web store. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you've seen that as well, James. Sometimes I'll walk up into the bay and only see that. Or like or, or Duty Freeze, something. too. Yeah, they exactly. only have the, the original. Yeah, so um, there's that. Uh, that being said, I'm a big fan of the line in general, mainly because I like the first one so much. I think it's uh, it takes a conventional masculine, um, you know, hierarchy of notes, like with the opening of something like uh, citrusy and berry, and then like a, a spicy mid, and then like a woody base. I think it does it well to a T, and it's actually original somehow. Uh, George, how do you feel about Icon or the trio. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I think the bottles are obviously. George, your bike. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, it's gone now. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually speaking into the Dunhill Icon bottle right here. Actually, <laughs> bars, bars. Um, yeah, bars. Uh, no, but, but, but for real, um, I, um, I think the bottles are sick, and the bottles really sell themselves and are really interesting. Um, oh, I think I know. I think I've turned my microphone up a little bit too high. That's really right. Anyway. Um, Go I back know, up because you went hella quiet. I, I'm more tempted. There you go. <laughs> there we go. That better? Lovely. I'm freaking out. Okay. Um, I'm really temp more tempted by Icon Absolute, actually. 
I think that oh. that's a really that's the fragrance that kind of uh, you know really inter interested me. I like the original icon, but um, not enough to like maybe purchase it. But icon absolute, I think there's uh, there's something special there. It's so, nice. It's um, nice. The the third one, the 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 is that the new one, the black bottle, elite, elite. elite. I haven't <laughs> tried that. I haven't tried that. So that that looks. So cool! Well, it looks like literally looks like a like an OG Onyx condenser mic. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing. I'm about that life. So shout outs to, uh, you know, <laughs> microphones. Yo, I'm but like, we don't talk. I'm not using my condenser mic right now. Uh, but like that, I got I got my <laughs> yeah. own here. There you go. That's okay, right? So uh, I, shout outs to Dunhill. I think I, I think I saw this fragrance, or at least it was brought to my attention uh, because of Jay Copeland. So, you know what? Mm -hmm. Jay Copeland is out here with like the coolest of, you know, masculine fragrances. You know, mm -hmm. like he covers a lot of cool stuff that you know seldom gets covered. Like who? Like he loves what's it called by Creed? Uh, Vetiver geranium, right? Like that's a that's a shit. Yeah. yeah. So like that that's really cool. So like I I like seeing what he what he what he cooks up. You know, when he does yeah. lists and stuff. So shout out to Jay Copeland. He'd be cool as hell to have on this, on the show. Um, and uh, about that, guys, if you want to tell us if you have any suggestions for guest hosts in the future, please let us know in the comments. I'd love to know. I'm sure we would all love to know. And uh, maybe that's something we get cracking for in the future. Uh, however, um, we got uh, Mr. Timmy, Timmy V. You know, imagine scent. What up? And I'd love to know, what is your favorite purchase as of recently? And did you get it during the trip, the legendary Toronto trip of last week? Oh, you mean like a couple oh. of days ago? <laughs> the legendary, oh man. The one of my favorites the, is the one that uh, we know like I didn't buy. But, yes. but, but, can't talk about that yet. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta keep that on the wraps. DL. So the one that I actually bought recently is actually Frozen Cologne. Like, I've, been, I've been hunting this down for ages. You know, I really like it. I think it's even better than the original line of weed because it's fresher. It's not us. I don't know. I don't feel like it's as potent. I say I like the freshness. It's like an Invictus Aqua versus. It's like an it, yeah, exactly. It's like an Invictus Aqua right. of the Lamy Delon, which I, I love a lot. Uh, I, I do love the original as well. I just think this one, the opening, is slightly better. The downside to this is that it does not last quite as long as the original. And you guys know the original doesn't last long in the first place. So this is even worse in performance. So Yo, the original lasts long just fine. <laughs> like, you're just a Bethel fan. No, no, I mean, like, um, in comparison to other fragrances, the original just lasts, like, not as good as the other designers. Like, the, the, the today's design batch, level? anyway. The, okay, the today's yeah, batch, anyway. Sense. So we're not talking about vintage. You can't find those. But in today's batch, that one doesn't last so good. This one, uh, yeah, it's just a bit worse. <laughs> so uh, yeah. it's really only for my own enjoyment. I just like the opening a lot. Yeah. But, uh, I, can see that. I know uh, Lex Ellis himself said that uh, the new formulation of Ladoui de Lom, in his experience, uh, feels like the oil percentage has been upped. Um, which I have the new formulation of Ladoui de Lom. I just got for kicks because... You know, James knows what I'm talking about. You see at Costco, you're like, yeah, whatever. And that's kind of what I did with the new Eau de Toilette, Lanoui de Lom. And I thought it was lovely. Um, I wasn't really metering how long it was lasting or how well it was projecting, but uh, it didn't feel, quote-unquote, as watered down as some other batches might have been talked down to. That being said, uh, about frozen cologne, Tim, I, uh, you know what? It, it's one fragrance that I feel like... I'm trying to figure out why this wasn't hyped. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because Frozen Cologne kind of came out when Lanoui started to get neutered, right? And to maybe get um, one that was a little bit more quote-unquote summary, which the performance was more justified that it was lower, mm -hmm. you would think that it would, you know, it would have taken off by at least one reviewer, but... Mm -hmm. It didn't for whatever reason. Now it's from, discontinued. From my perspective, the reason I was off it for so long was just because it had cologne in the name. And I was like, okay, yes. well, it's an eau de cologne. It's going to last like an hour or two, yeah. like cologne de jambe. Yeah. In the same cologne lines. Jambe, you know, yeah. The other lone flanker with cologne in its name. It's like, yeah, performance is an issue. Then what, why bother? You know? Mm -hmm. No, I, I get that totally. Um, but 
the yeah yeah and the fact that it might just scare you away which is the name cologne makes sense as far as an you know an educated or um informed fragrance user like yourself uh but to maybe the regular joe who's just going to find a jeremy video on youtube uh i was thinking that at least one of the og youtubers at the time would have hyped it back then uh and i'm not trying to fire shots or anything it just i i think it's that good after revisiting it with tim that one day shout outs to max deals mississauga ontario canada thanks for that james yo speaking yeah. of which actually let me max deals is my, my, my boy my boy sam but i picked up two present colognes in the box today on craigslist you're what <laughs> what is this timing and an electric <laughs> just for shits and uh like top of the line crest white strips all for oh bars that's <laughs> Good lord! So, um, yeah, that balls. is a a J Royal live stream worthy haul. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, speaking of the this abundance of frozen clone, uh, George, what is your opinion on the scent? I know you are a fan of the Le Parfum version of La Nuit de Well, yeah. how do you feel about frozen clone? Well, the thing is, is that in the end, you know, I want to respond because I kind of represent the OGs, maybe. Um, yeah. We were sick of caring about the flankers in the end because there was just so You're many right. of them. You're right. You're right. Okay. Right. Sense. Just yeah. flanker after flanker after flanker. And in the end, we were just like, Eve sent me wrong. Please just calm down. Take a break. Go to bed. You know, have some R&R. &R. Um, and now only that they've kind of stopped a little bit. Or they've moved on to Y, right? Why? <laughs> they've moved on to Y. Um, I love yeah. their advertising campaign, uh, which is like... Um, Mm. Everything starts with a why, and my my response to that is yeah. Like, why did you bother making this fragrance? Um, anyway, hashtag bars. Mm. Um, but <laughs> now that they've calmed down with the flankers, uh, it's time to like reflect. Yes. And now people are starting to appreciate yeah. what they were. But at the time, it was frozen cologne, and then something like Lom Libre or Lom Chamelon would come out, or, or some crazy stuff. So we we wouldn't keep up. Um, I've smelt frozen cologne. I think it's good. I think it's good, but it, it was it was a bit of a while ago. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, by the sound of what you you guys are saying, sounds exciting. I'm gonna go check it out again. Definitely. Yeah, it's just like we. I think I'm more in love with its functionality. If that makes any sense. Right. Uh, like while I do find the scent pleasant itself, um, if you can find it for under retail and it appeals to you, why not jump yeah. on it? Uh, Tim found it for around that price-ish, so it's hard to ignore it. But I just think it's a lovely scent. Like, um, and we have Mr. Triple Link in the house. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, to the party, sorry. This is this is uh, okay, fam. I'm glad you're able to make it. I'm sure the rest of Team Top Five is. Shout out to Ashton Jensen, Kirkland, wherever he's at. However, Bradley, we are discussing. Uh, our thoughts on each of our favorite pickups as of late. We'll get to your favorite pickup and your tenth of the day in just a bit. But we're yeah. talking about uh, Timmy's favorite pickup recently, which is Frozen Cologne by Issa Uh Frozen Cologne, you know, La Nuit de Lom. What are your thoughts on that fragrance and why? Oh, me? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just out of the loop. Okay. Yeah, so Frozen Cologne, it's... Um, it is interesting, you know, it's got sort of that crispness. I mean, it's very similar to the original from what I've tried. I've almost smelled it once like in a Sephora and that was, that was a while ago. It didn't really impress me as much. I think I like the dry down of, of the original better. I'm just going to stick with uh, my 2015 or 16 batch where you see how light the juice colors on that. It's, it's Yeah, that's pathetic, what a solid but... color box. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't really like to wear that type of... Honestly, I wear this summer nights anyway, um, not during the daytime, but even when on the warmer nights, I find that this works better because the performance isn't that good. But when the um, weather gets a little warmer out, it, it seems to actually push off me better. So I don't really find it relevant to uh, get a bottle of the frozen clone for me personally. Okay. So, no, that makes a lot of sense. And plus, if you wanted to go with something lighter, you already have... Uh, you're the king of freshies anyway. You're probably going to be huge for <laughs> Too that. fresh, right? That's, that's my new yeah. nickname for you. So um, we have nicknames <laughs> as well, which we will debut in uh, just a little bit today. So oh, shout out to uh, my name. Top five nicknames. This is why you have the opportunity to, to choose your nickname, yeah. George, and potentially Tim. <laughs> Tim, did we settle on a nickname for you by any chance? Yeah. Oh, um, well, there's been a few names thrown around, like yeah. for a man. 
Um, Timmy Turner. Timmy, Timmy Turner. Turner. Yes, that's it. Sorry. Timmy Turner. <laughs> that one's up. Yeah, I'm. I'm still looking for a name. Uh, that being said, uh, I'll get to my uh, favorite pickup recently, and actually, uh, this might be, come as a shock to some of y'all, uh, but for the value and for I how I feel about these scents or this type of scent, it's actually. Tiffany for men, EDT, what classic American scent right here. World, are you yeah. on? So, um, is that you? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> You're so here. Uh, funny story about the scent. Um, it debuted in 1989, uh, so like it's a hell of a long time ago. That being said, it smells like something that might have debuted in maybe the less exclusive to Chanel. Uh, that being said, it's actually a fragrance done by Jacques Paul. Jacques Paul, yeah. Yes. And Jacques Polge, believe it or not, debuted this scent along with uh, Pour Monsieur Concentré by Chanel in the same year, and they smell exactly alike. Wow. So I actually prefer this a little bit more, and the uh, mm -hmm. valuation, um, I think, in the States is like around the same price. This is 130 Canadian for 100 ml. Uh, and for a fragrance that's as, you know, restricted as this, as far as you can't find it on discounters counters, really, and you can only find it at Tiffany counters or boutiques, like, to me, this is, like, less exclusive quality, and it just smells so cool as far as, you know, kind of a throwback, uh, you know, bright, fresh, cheaper scent, but it has a nice sandalwood dry down, and I'm just absolutely in love with this, especially for the price. And uh, it still is potent, as I remember from back in the day, I also love to. So if you're in search of an OG Chanel fragrance, definitely mm. check this out if you haven't yet. Tiffany from Men Eau de Toilette. It's still active. And the crazy part is it's been around for almost uh, 28 years now. Wow. And it hasn't hit, you know, discounters on the level as, you know, other uh, scents from other brands. That's how tight Tiffany's distribution is. So I think that's really cool. But have any of you guys smelled the scent by any chance? Or let me just concentrate. No, um, no, I have not. <laughs> no, no, sorry. No, no sorry. Like you got a bargain though. Sounds like you did really well. Yeah, like um, to pick it up at retail um, for you know that price, and I don't think it's gone up ever. Believe it or not. Nice. I think that's really cool. So shout out to Tiffany, and uh, they have a new fragrance debuting um, by Prada's nose, Daniela Andre, called Tiffany and Company. That should be debuting. Out. Yeah, that should be debuting in. Um, a couple of weeks, I, I believe it comes out October first worldwide. So that's really cool. I know it's already uh, active in the states, uh, but yeah, OG American brand, so they're really cool. So um, USA is in the building. We got American fragrance. We got Timmy, hey. we got Brad. Shout hey. out to y'all. <laughs> America um, coming back strong. America. Oh, America. <laughs> America. So, yeah, just hit us with. Uh, actually, you know why not? Everyone in the comments, uh, tell us what is your favorite fragrance from a U.S. brand. And if you want, tell us why. I thought you were yeah, going to so say everyone's in your favorite country. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, uh, yeah. well, we know it's not that one. I'm joking. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, let's, um, let's not do this. No, we're not going to do this. Yeah, England we'll, is my country. Or my oh, city. Wow, <laughs> I, did that intro. I did that intro. I did that you intro. You did? Uh, I did. <laughs> city. It's That's embarrassing. England, England is my city. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that being said, Brad, uh, we've missed you. And... Uh, can you hit us with your A, send the day, and B, your favorite purchase recently and why? All right, I got two of each, okay? I'm going to pitch you with two of each here. So <laughs> this morning I wore Boss Bottled Oud. Um, really nice. Yes, boy. I got a shout-out to George. You actually uh, turned me on to that one, and I've been really, really enjoying it. Worked great this morning. So um, and I just got back from a little new job interview thing, and I wore M Wash, or I'm um, not interview man. <laughs> Reflection man is what I wore. You see, you, you didn't get the job. Uh, that job. I know, yeah. I, I would have freaking failed. <laughs> see, you know, I got the blue shirt. I was thinking the blue beast. And, uh, I wore a uh, reflection man. Definitely not interview man today. But um, yeah, it worked really nice. It's still for a fresh scent. It's uh, very, very good. And I think it helped me out. Um, and my two fragrances that I've really been enjoying that I've just recently picked up. Uh, we got Santal Carmen. Etoile Cologne just did a review on this. Um, watch it. And it, yep, have you guys ever smelled this one before? Oh, yeah. 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 Man, that's sandalwood, though. I mean, if you like G Water, then you'll like this. That's it. Dude, it's I might even say this is better than G Water. No, I understand <laughs> why you say that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if that's what you think, bro. So good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the other one is uh, 
Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, man, I like this better than the, I mean, it's got the violet leaf, which is one of my favorite notes, but mainly it's vanilla and rum and so unique and has great performance too. So these are two that I'll definitely yeah, be rocking nice. a lot in the uh, fall. So those are my two pickups. Okay, nice. Awesome. You, uh, thoughts on either of the pickups, George? Oh, man, listen. Listen, listen Bradley. Uh, I'm all ears. <laughs> This is your father speaking. <laughs> um, Bars. I uh, I don't add, listen. I, I I love your you and 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 Tyler from TM Sense absolutely go nuts for Atelier and yeah, you love it. And I um the East Coast boys, man, AKA the truth Atelier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, boys, I swear. I I just don't. I don't quite get it actually. I don't get quite get Atelier. I, I just don't. I'm not saying they're bad. I just don't. There's something about them that doesn't really completely resonate with me. Um, that fragrance that you got, I really do like. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one with the saffron, right? Yep, saffron, sandalwood, vanilla, guyac yeah. wood. Yeah, all, yeah, all that good stuff. I, I, I think that that's one of their uh, most interesting uh, fragrances composite-wise. But yeah. I personally, they just don't quite get it. But I can totally feel your passion for it, man. And Love when it. I saw that video, you know, you were saying like that thing blew your mind. It did. And that's, it that's fair enough. That's, Yo, that's enough for me, Brad. You're happy, I'm happy. You Sweet, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yo, the, the, hashtag I tell you, boys, and we know what <laughs> boys ends with. It's not an S either. It's a, of course, it's a Z. Yeah, it's actually well, a Z. A Z, oh, yeah. We're, listen, if we're going to do that, can we call Manny and Timmy the Asian persuasion? Oh, we, we are, <laughs> are Asian persuasion. Like, Asian persuasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, see, Tim knows what's up. Like, he, he's a pro. <laughs> he, he's a vet. He knows. He anyway, uh, yeah, G Royal, thoughts on uh, these recent pickups Fahrenheit Le Parfum and Santel mm -hmm. Carmont? No comment on Atelier. Uh, wow. No, offense. no, I think it's fine. It's just that yeah. they never uh, really did it for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, the fragrances that I enjoy from their line don't really perform well for me so mm -hmm. um but the fahrenheit parfum i do enjoy i have it in my collection and it's i think it's my favorite flanker yeah um from the fahrenheit I, line i, I, I was love... fahrenheit 32. <laughs> <Ooh. That's> your... <laughs> <laughs> no no that's the worst <laughs> fragrance i've ever smelled yeah. um wow <laughs> yeah i hate 32. Uh, <laughs> aqua fahrenheit is really dope i love aqua fahrenheit yeah. for like yeah, I love days aqua fahrenheit. when in the warmest weather it's really really nice Parfum is is great. I I love what they did with it. Similarly to Dior own Parfum, where yeah, uh, yeah, the performance went up, but also there was another element to it. So instead of adding the leather, they added the sweetness, the booziness. And uh, I, I'm just reading the comments. Someone asked if it's uber masculine. I think mm -hmm. I think yes, but I, it leans more unisex than the original. Yeah, with the with the vanilla and like the this, this I understand that caveat. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it, it's really nice and it's similar to uh, absolute as well i guess yeah they're um but parfum is more it sticks more true to the original fahrenheit than absolute does absolutes in another world yeah absolutely like hello woodier yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so yeah thumbs up hey one thumb up and then one neutral thumb <laughs> neutral <laughs> yeah um, um, the respect though so fair play am i am i okay to just kind of give uh, a little bit of thought on the um fahrenheit parfum there, yeah, Manny. Yo, I just wanted to say um, shout out to that particular fragrance. It's legitimately sick. I'm kind of basically the same as Jay Royal. Um, one super thumb up. I wish that they'd done um, what they'd done with Aqua, um, sorry, Fahrenheit Parfum to Dior on Parfum, but that's another story. But yeah, fantastic. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, chaps. Is Aqua Fahrenheit discontinued? Is it? What's going on with that? That was a, I was actually going to ask James that question. Uh, as far as the Fahrenheit flankers, which ones are still active besides the um, actual just Fahrenheit? Mm -hmm. uh, Absolute and 32 are definitely discontinued. Mm -hmm. um, Parfum, I think, is still still going strong. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I, I, I have a feeling either it was, it was Aqua or Cologne that kind of you know, kept oh, by the way, going. Oh, okay. I want a 125 mil of Aqua. Cool. For sure. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. All right. And Tim, your thoughts on the pickups of Mr. 
Triple H. I don't remember the lip hop from. I I think I smelled it way way back ago. And um, I went to a Dior boutique uh, late. Um, I think a, co- a couple weeks ago, and they don't have it there for me to smell. So I don't know why. Like, uh, is it not here available in the U.S. or something? So you no know, comment on that one. That's a good uh, question. I actually, if you guys know in the comments, please let us know. Is there any other fragrance from Dior besides uh, Dior Am Papa that may or may not be restricted in the U.S. or North America? Uh, we'd love to know uh, yeah. because who knows? Maybe one of us want to pick one up uh, whenever we can. But that's a good question. Sorry to interrupt, Manny. I, just on the Dior website now, 32 actually is still available. And yeah. it's Cologne that's still being developed. Aqua isn't. So it's, it's yeah. 32, yeah. Cologne, Parfum, and then the original. And it's been a minute since I've seen Aqua on uh, discount websites like Nokino or Fragrance Buy and stuff like that. So, yeah. uh, to be fair, I better get it while the going's good because I'm, I can get um, Aqua Fahrenheit here for £57, pounds, 50 125 yeah. mil. That's decent. Uh, 57 quid is very decent for sure. Yeah. That's around, like, I want to say 80-something-ish Canadian right now. So that's, nice. that's very good. Oh, yeah. good for that. Um, and Tim, um, what's it called? How about the Atelier by any chance? What are your thoughts on that one? Mm, that one I remember liking. I remember liking yeah. that one. I tested it when I was in New York. That was, like, the beginning of this year. I was uh, I tested a lot of the Ateliers when I was over there because I was at Evan's place. Um, yeah. The- in um, Atelier store. Mm-hmm. And I remember liking that one. It was one of the highlights. I don't exactly remember what it smells like because I smelled like 100 fragrances total that day. <laughs> so, but I remember that being the highlight of the, one of the highlights. So I think eventually yeah. I'm going to pick up like a bottle for myself or maybe a 30 mil or something. So I do really okay. enjoy that one. Okay. No, that's great to hear. Now, I don't want to I don't want to sound like I'm trolling here because I'm actually <laughs> dead serious. I'm dead serious about this shit. Here we go. Okay. Because you had to mention our homeboy in NYC, Evan, Modern Sense Simpkins, shouts Evan. Yeah. But, uh, of course, he's taken an indefinite, li- indefinite leave from YouTube. Yeah. So I was thinking, as, you know, Team Top 5, we come out here with, like, you know, like, one of those, like, petitions to bring back Modern Sense. Mm. Like, cause I, I miss his channel. I, yeah. I, miss, I miss being on his channel. I miss watching his channel. And, uh, you know, I, I just this is YouTube presence, per se. So mm-hmm. I, I might even get a, uh, you know, like, we need to get some signatures for that boy to come back. Petition. I know he's making yeah, 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 that's what's up. We need a petition to help our homeboy out right here, Mr. Mr. Triple Inc. Yeah. If you want to go into detail, please, about your uh, situation. Oh, you oh so. But let's, yeah, let's I was, let the public know. Yeah, yeah. I, I just saw the, um, what, our little game plan. I was like, did I already miss the algorithm chat? I'm like, no. no. no, no we waited for you. Okay. Oh, I sweet. Did. Okay. Okay, yeah, so um, I put out a video, what, on, like, Thursday or Wednesday or something like that, and this has been happening to me, I know, some of you guys for the past, uh, I want to say, two or three weeks, and the YouTube apocalypse, as we all know, um, you know, it's been hurting a lot of news channels in in particular, just in terms of, like, um, advertisers not putting ads on people's videos because they're not advertiser-friendly based on YouTube's guidelines, and um, I've, you know, been starting to get hit on my channel uh, several videos now, of my you know videos not being advertiser friendly um i thought you know i, I explained it on in my video but it's just like it's very frustrating it's the most frustrating thing is to work really hard on you know hours and hours of editing a video and filming and you're really proud of it just to put something out and um have it be just shut down completely for no reason you know they, they don't Terrible. provide yeah so i'm, I'm kind of over it right now to be honest i don't really care at this point if it's monetized or not um i, I just I, I just do it now because i want to do it <laughs> yeah like so, it's hard to be compensated for um to not be compensated for something that you know is supposed to be advertiser friendly you haven't yeah. gone against community guidelines nope. whatsoever not even close no. and um i don't believe someone has individually flagged you either so it's just a really interesting um you know peculiar thing that i see as yeah. a creator myself <laughs> as well as everyone else here because you have a super safe channel and i, I know you're killing it um in your own way and I am, and as well as everyone here, is proud of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that being said, I'm trying to think of what may uh, set you off as far as algorithm and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying I'm to think. I'm thinking of music. Maybe do stuff like rap music. Yeah. yeah. Like for the next few weeks. Like just just nail see. it down. Mm-hmm. And I have noticed sometimes, you know, when I've used, um, you know, I, of course, we have credits in all my videos of yep. the music that I use. I always source it. Um, but some, you know, 
on, on my older videos, I never had a problem because I always use YouTube's free music and you know, like a bunch of the songs or whatever in the creator studio or whatever. But maybe I'll, yeah, because maybe I'll stop using that type and just see it if it, you know, has any effect. But just don't use music in general. Just, yeah. just see if you can do it with just the ambiance of wherever you're at outside anyway. It's going to sound dope. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all good. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, um, right. what's it called? It, like, does anyone else have anything to say on that by any chance? Or? Yeah, I got, I got a few things to so get off my chest, actually. But um, if Jay Roy Roy wants to go first, go ahead, George. Go ahead. Um, you know, the thing is, is that with with the apocalypse, um, you know, I, I want to talk very quickly um, about PewDiePie. Uh, Whoa, okay. And, okay. And, um, don't worry, don't worry, don't don't freak out, don't freak out. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, Brad. No, what annoys me is that PewDiePie is did like what he did recently. I don't have an opinion on that, but you know what? He should know better. When you have so much power that you control like the destiny of people's financial situations on YouTube, you should be careful of what you say and what you do as such a public figure. Okay. Because what he says and what he does affects people like Bradley. I, 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 it's it's upsetting that one guy has so much power in because we have the fragrance community right, but we're also kind of part of the YouTube community. To a certain extent, right? Yeah. Um, to a certain yeah, but in in this respect, we are and we're affected by it whether we want to be or not. Yeah, it, so you I'm know, it's it's just hard for me to like to, to uh, what's it called to speak on that mainly because I haven't been affected by it whatsoever, thankfully. I, um, I, I haven't been I, no I haven't been affected by it um, but that kind of almost annoys me people know people know who I am and people know the things that I have done on my videos mm -hmm. um, uh, TM sense recently said you're like a, a cross between Wes Anderson and filthy Frank okay um, I don't as in like but okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Listen, you know, I got a little bit um, chastised for the thing that I did with the pineapple vintage thing. I've set, I've called Christian Dior effing cowards. Mm. I'm fully monetized. Yeah, and then you Bradley, see what's happened to Brad. Bradley is yeah. busting his ass more than me. Yeah, Bradley is work is one of the hardest workers in this community right now. Free, and I'm not blowing. I'm not blowing smoke up. I don't need to. Yeah, you know. Um, but he is such a hard-working guy, and not just that, but he's a really lovely and nice guy who wants to provide content for all ages and all demographics. And then YouTube just go, oh well, you know, oh well, we're having a bit of a we're having a bit of a doozy at the moment. Um, it's not gonna... And it could be because it is unacceptable. Wait, Timmy. So, so Timmy, I know your videos. You've been getting hit a couple of them too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of them. Yep. And look, so we're both in the U.S. And then maybe it's only something in the U.S. I'm not sure because I don't know if you guys. Oh, well, like UK Pete also got it too. So it's not. Oh, he got it too. US. Okay, okay. UK. Yeah, the fact that I'm in Cuba as well. Yeah. Well, Cuba. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. No offense totally to Cuba. Surprised. I love you, man. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm totally surprised. <laughs> I love Cuba, but you know. Yeah. Um. I know James had something to say. Like, what was going on? So yeah, on the subject of whether it's localized to the UK and the U.S. I get hit by it quite often, mm -hmm. and I thought that it was because um, it's just something that was normal. Because I again, I uh, I'm relatively new to the community, yeah. and uh, I just thought it was part of the thing, and I would appeal. Not only do I use music in my videos, I actually help create music for my brother, and that's the music that we use. So I know it's not copywritten because we yeah. we created it, and um, I make a. I make a purposeful attempt to never use foul language in my videos because of the fact that I know my nephews are probably watching and I want to, you know, yeah, reflect right, lovely. a better version, the best version of myself. I don't want them yeah. to. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, so other than that, I don't really see anything that would cause it to be flagged other than just a very wonky algorithmic system that you just have to appeal and then mm -hmm. hopefully. You hit your thousand views, uh, thousand, thousand views in a week's time or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Um, but and as much as it sucks, it's like, I mean, I don't know what the solution is. Yeah. And you guys know that I'm equally good for anyone who's putting work to get, um, you know, nothing for it. Essentially, uh, I know there's a. I might have seen it on your video as well, Brad. Um, but I know there's a few people within the the fracoms themselves, and I hope you guys don't mind me uh, by saying this. Uh, I don't, I don't want to, you know, antagonize anyone with this. Oh, boy. The fact that some people 
feel like we're not in the right for trying to get compensated for a video that we put our hard work into, I think it's like kind of unfair. Um, if you put yourself in our shoes as far as we're trying to provide the community with, you know, quote unquote entertainment and or, um, you know, just for the sake that we love it. Information. And to, to, and to get a few cents back from AdSense, um, I don't think is that much to ask for, no. you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I don't know why there's this mentality of, um, you know, not just in our community, but uh, a lot of people's communities in general, that um, if you really love something, you should be doing it for free. I think that's insane yeah. because I thought as a Especially little Especially when you're kid, reviewing fragrances, which you have to buy. Yeah, exactly. But check this out. If you grew up as a child and you wanted to become an actor or you wanted to become an athlete, who didn't want to do what they want or what they love for a living? Mm -hmm. Like, what? why is that so callous? I, I think I it's more than that, too. I think, you know, as as content creators, you know, our compensation ends up fueling the quality of our content. You know, Absolutely. Wow. Well, well, well. We're able to get better equipment. We're able to get better training, and we can learn more and make better content for you guys. Exactly. So I, th I think everything feeds into this the system that works for, for everyone it's just motivated if i know that you know people are watching it you know i'm getting compensated yeah and it's not yeah. like all of us are out here from the fragrance community on youtube red trying to get dollars from you in that regard if it gets to that point all the better then i can i can be making videos 24 7 exactly right now. <laughs> but that being said with the fact that we're only doing this almost for free is and then people are, are anal about us asking about AdSense or Patreon and stuff like that. Yeah. Again, it's your decision as a viewer if you want to watch us or not. And we're not uh, charging you either. So it's oh, just uh, yeah. as a fragrance user yourself, I get that. Why am I not getting compensated? Well, you're not out here creating, you know, and we are. And it's well, not easy. Um, oh, uh, can, I, can I talk real quick about Patreon? Real quick. Real quick. So um, a couple of years ago, I actually tried to start a, a Patreon uh, kind of deal, and I got not really like a heavy backlash, but I got a few dislikes and people like looking at me as though I was kind of from Mars. Um, but the thing is, is that especially, you know, with the videos that I sort of try and make, I try and add a bit more cinematics and all that kind of stuff, it would be, it would be helpful. And the thing is, is that it's like people almost forgot that it was it was an option. I wasn't saying I'm converting the YouTube series, my, the Fragrance Apprentice, into a Netflix series that you're going to have yeah. to subscribe to. I'm always going to be free, but and and it will always be that. But if people would like stuff from all of us that's a bit more out there, we can flex our creative muscles, maybe dive a bit more into hard to find fragrances. Then Patreon is always a a, a viable option. But, um, you know, if pe I will only do that if people are actually truly comfortable with that. But it's not like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying, uh, I'm not trying to um, make you pay from fragrance reviews. I'm just trying to do that. It's yeah, just, exactly. It is helpful. It is helpful to us. Of course it is. You know, we review things that we do actually have to purchase and then have to go out and get the film equipment and all that. Mm -hmm. So it, it isn't, yeah. Yeah, no, Sometimes I, 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 I agree. Absolutely, Time is money, man, and uh, and we all we all put yeah. hours and hours and hours into this. Yeah. It's not just we shoot our you know thing and then upload it and then la di da. Yeah. There's all that, and then there's yeah. everything else. Yeah. you know, in conjunction with that. So also, like, and Tim knows how often I upload. Uh, so it's what? weird because like, I don't get uh, I. What? Tim, are we going through this right now? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been hit since 2015, since before I upload. Well, you know, I got hit for one video, and one video that I said the word shit in. I'm dead serious. You rascal. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I've since privatized that. Yeah, so that that I found very peculiar. And I've tried to make a conscious a conscious effort to stay clean and uh, advertiser friendly and uh, within community guidelines as far as um, you know what is uh, fair use and whatnot. I think that's almost that's imperative. You have to do that. As someone who has worked in broadcasting, it's something that I make a con conscious effort uh, to furthermore do in now in 
YouTube or in the internet because on the internet because of the climate of the internet right now and how easy it is to trigger um, you know the powers that be. So uh, I feel like you guys, furthermore, or at least Brad, Tim, and James, almost do a better job than me at it. And the fact that you guys have been hit is is, is hard. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Even mention me there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm, I, I had to, George. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, thought you guys might like that. If you have any uh, comments about the ad apocalypse, feel free because I think it's kind of uh, uh, important just to go through it a little bit because of the fact that uh, it's starting to affect the Fragcom to a certain extent, or some of our most beloved personalities within the Fragcom. So that's why we talked about yeah. it. Anyway, um, all of us are here. Uh, this is City Exclusive Fragrance Hype. That's what this episode is talking about, or is named. And I cannot wait to talk about this with y'all. Because, um, like, I think we all come from really interesting areas. And uh, specifically with George, I want to say that uh, we oh. have a good idea of what uh, stereotypically comes out of London, for example. And, and as far as, like, it being a melting pot of uh, various cultures and various yeah. personalities, and that's why you typically see Eastern and Western elements in the fragrances, just like this one. Uh, yeah. That being East said, why not um, talk about what we would want a city exclusive from our city to be from? And we might as well start with uh, Brad. Oh. Um, so Brad, uh, <laughs> the city you'd represent as far as what's nearest to you or what you fold dear or where you yeah. feel like you know, Who would be the nose behind the fragrance? What would it smell like? And what brand would it be from? Okay, shoot. Um, I'm going around the spot here because I haven't actually thought of one yet, but I'm thinking like, so, you know, if you guys don't know, I'm from Cleveland area originally. Um, I live in I Virginia right now, so I'm kind of near, DMV. yeah, near uh, <laughs> DC, but like, I don't know. Who would you rep? Who would you rep? <laughs> Who would I rep? I'll probably just got to rep 216 Cleveland, definitely. Oh my gosh. The six, what? the real six. Oh, wow. oh no, oh, we're not doing this right now. Yeah. Okay, first off, you're firing shots at the six. That's a no no. The Secondly, fake six, you mean? It's, is the DMV she that bad that leave. you have to betray them in favor of LeBron? Like right now? Are we doing No, this? like Cleveland is where I've lived more years there technically than I lived here just by a little bit. But like. So Cleveland is my city. My heart is still Cleveland. Cleveland is my city. I'm still Cavaliers, Indians, Browns, all of, all of them. I know. You don't give me that face. I know we got, <laughs> um, but yeah, I would, so I would stick with Cleveland and, um, let me think real quick because so it smells like factories then <laughs> factories, coal, Lake Erie, you got that driftwood going up there. <laughs> uh, no. So like since it's really cold a lot of the time there, especially we get that lake effect snow like you guys probably get in Toronto somewhat, um, or, um, around there like yeah. yeah 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 so i mean you guys know what winter is right down here if we see snowflakes we freak out pretty much just yeah. because we're not not used to it but so up there <laughs> i'm expecting probably a colder weather scent for the most part for like a city exclusive and like i could see us doing something you know Ar armani Privé maybe because Ooh. i know they have some london exclusives or something hashtag but, the heber oh you know what it would be a by killian easily what? Because you guys what? got, yeah, easily, no question. What? I would have Killian Hennessy, you know, be the face of the of the scent, right? It would have the sick bottle, and I mean, I know Black Phantom, that, that's pretty sick with the box, but like, what would it be called? Like, help me out, guys, here. I, I need to think. I mean, okay, so we got by Killian, which I found peculiar because it's like Cleveland known for booze. Yeah, here we oh, got yeah. breweries. All, I mean, oh, wow. Not, like, Milwaukee, you know, like we're no, sort like of Milwaukee in the West a little bit, yeah. but like, yeah, I mean, but by killing does do boozy sense, like better than almost anybody else too. Um, Y'all represent, okay. Yeah, so I, I need to think a little bit more on, on the name, but something like a boozy scent definitely, but maybe some more woody elements in there and uh, maybe it would have like a unique coffee booziness of some sort. Something warm that would get you through the winter time, I would so say. So something by like Sydney Lenza, so something like that. Something like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. No, that's awesome. So uh, so Homeboy is rocking the 216. Yeah. I thought it was real peculiar because I didn't think we had Ohio up in here. Oh, yeah. Well, apparently Ohio all day long. Yeah, so shout <laughs> out to uh, – is Ohio Midwest? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Shout out to the Midwest. Yeah. Uh, respect, respect. All right. Um, Mr. Vetiver Heber himself. Uh, <laughs> fragrance of friends. Uh, 
You are rep well, representing uh, Manchester. Manchester Babylon. Oh, wow. There, um, it is. there it is. Whoop, there it is. So I, I've got a couple uh, things right. First of all, um, Manchester would... Um, a fragrance of Manchester would smell like alcoholism and stab wounds, so I'm not going to go with that. <laughs> stab um, wounds. I'm going to go... I've got, uh, I've got a... He knows what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I don't, actually. <laughs> um, no, um, but for real, I, I was thinking... I, I was thinking, right, um, Creed London, right? Creed and you London. have it by Olivier Creed. Or, if you wanted to go ballsy, because I live on an island, right? We like to think that it's this great mainland, but it's not. It's an island. So maybe England is my city. And then you could have... Maybe you could have Creed Kingdom, right? And it represents and it represents all the different elements of the United Kingdom. Am I allowed to do that, or am I just going straight for a city? No, that that's I, no. If England is my city, I respect that. <laughs> all right, it would be. It would. I mean, it's if, relevant. If, all if right. the British Isles is your city. Yeah. All right, it's a London exclusive, but it's called Creed Kingdom, and you have like the lavender from Scotland. Mm. You have the dandelion from England. Yeah. You have the green grassy smell from Wales. <laughs> And you have the Guinness from Ireland. No, from Guinness. Ireland. You can't uh, I knew that was coming. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but but some like a fragrance that um, completely captures the British countryside, and you make it exclusive to London to celebrate the fact that Creed originally came from Britain. Mm. Okay. All right. Right. And then, back to your of course, roots. it would be my 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 boy Olivier and Owen. Um, okay. Solid. Six and seven generation. Shout out to them. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Okay. Jay Royals in the building representing the six, the real six. Sorry, Brad. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. You're out here fake six. Late, what are you talking about? Coming in late and then like accusing us of being the fake. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do. That's how oh, too fresh wow. I am. <laughs> too fresh. We'll get into the nicknames after that. Stay tuned for that, y'all. Uh, oh, but God. yes, um, X Men, please let us know. X Men. <laughs> Well, I was going to say a Zerzhov one, but <laughs> probably not. Um, my, my, my first gut reaction would be uh, zoologist raptor. Hey! Ooh, raptor. <laughs> Prehistoric. The Toronto raptors. That's yeah. tough. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool because, yeah, he's a Toronto-based perfume, and uh, the raptors are a big part of Toronto, man. The six. Leave the north. <laughs> Lemonade. Yeah, um, that's true. You know, but in regards to scent profile, <clears throat> I think honestly, I, I I think I think zoologists would do a good job with it in regards to definitely. Um, I'm, I want to go back to like pine based, mm. um, maybe a bit uh, gourmand as well, just because it's a melting pot of so many different foods, and um, Toronto's really known for that. I was going to uh, ask, um, since you specifically yeah. are in, uh, you know, Peel region, Mississauga, uh, will, would it smell like curry? curry. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, no, yeah. it's funny that you say that because I was, I was, I was going to draw comparisons to Eau Noir by Dior. Mm. Mm. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe something like that, but with, but with a wintry vibe. You know, like mm. a little more, a kind of a sweet pine coniferous yeah. note. You know, that's that's Canadian. Canadian. I can respect that. Yeah. So um, it's funny you said raptor uh, zoologist perfumes. That raptor. that sounds good to me. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that being said, I always thought that homeboy uh, Victor Wong maybe uh, like I think uh, uh, maybe a collaboration with him and Toronto Zoo would be hilarious. I think that'd be so, yeah. That would be so much hype for like kind of like a burrito IKEA situation. Yeah. <laughs> or like you know if they got a brand new species at the zoo. Remember what was a big deal when we got the pandas in. <laughs> like if he did that in collaboration with them, that would be sick. It'd be sick. But that's just me, like thinking hypothetically. But I do love Raptor. As Ooh, well. Casey Rudd, as well, just Blue Jay. Blue Jay, yeah, so. Oh, that's tough. That I respect that. Shout out to Casey Rudd. Casey always yeah. coming up clutch in in the chat. So Live stream crew right there. Oh yeah. yeah. Alrighty, and uh, we got Las Vegas, Nevada in the building. Mm. Hey, so I pick a brand and I pick what type of scent I want for the C exclusive, right? Yes. So or are you going to go that, with uh, Anchorage or Bethel? 
Uh, I'll go with Las Vegas since I'm here now. Uh, I'm gonna go with the brand Nasumato and the fragrance. I uh, the fragrance that I want to portray is kind of like you know when you walk around the strip of Las Vegas, you don't only see the parties and the lights and stuff, but you also see fancy dressed people, like yes. rich people. Okay. Number one, they're always in a suit, they're always in a dress. I'm in. I'm in. Fancy. Yeah. There's Lamborghini, there's cars everywhere. So it's a really luxurious, like rich people type of place. So I yeah. want to have a fragrance that is both luxurious and but also has like okay i'm going to the club kind of feel to it's it so, yeah. so imagine I'm, yeah so imagine kind of like a nas models pardon but tone but like tone down on the dark chocolate add a little bit more of a fruity touch so imagine like a dark chocolate fruit bar like a dark chocolate fruity bar with like a deep like a woody base the 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 texture of the fragrance is going to be more of like an airy cloudy like fragrance. so it's not a thick fragrance it's not a winter thick fragrance yeah. but it's like imagine a cloud of like fruity dark chocolate mm. powdery but like yeah like not 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 technically powdery but like Creamy. just airy 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 airy, 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 okay. dark, airy fruity dark chocolate with like mm. a, a woody base so to me that i think that smell that would smell very luxurious rich at the same time as also playful with the fruitiness at the top as well so that would Bold. be my city exclusive yeah. okay. and yes oh, well, it so it would it would be a tick fragrance despite being las vegas it would be um, it would be my signature fragrance. If I... Oh wow! Look at that Nasumoto strength that. too. Writing that yeah. down in the book, I'm contacting Nasumoto. Only, <laughs> only Tim would make like a strong ass fragrance for how hot Las Vegas. Hundred degrees every day. Hundred degrees. H U N N I D. Hundred degrees. <laughs> and <laughs> like it be by Nasumoto. Like only Tim. So this is what you I'm wear it at night. That's, that's the name. Point. That's South the name of it. Hundred Degrees by Nasamato. <laughs> that's like, that is a sick name. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I had to pick a name too, right? Um, damn I it. picked it, mate. <laughs> no, 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 that would be like a summer thing. But um Ooh. uh Call it Strip. Nasamato oh, strips. Oh strips. <laughs> with two P's. Nasamato uncensored or something. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Not some auto uncensored. I would. Hey, call, that's, call that's, oh, Bradley, that's the best name ever. Not some no. auto uncensored. Oh, uncensored. What about, um, Please take notes over in Holland, wherever you're at. It's trademark, <laughs> guys. Whoever's listening is trademark. No copy. What about, trademark. What about, what about, property. Oh, collaboration. Nasimato, bro, yeah. Nasamato Gamble. Mm. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> well, the nightclub though. The nightclub is un uncensored. It's better because there's there's oh, girls right. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, someone make a gift of that, please. Like, <laughs> love you, Brad. Okay, not some out of broken dreams. <laughs> <laughs> not not some out of bankrupt. Not <laughs> 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 bankrupt. <laughs> Bro, broken dreams. Like I immediately thought of a uh, broken theories by kerosene. Kerosene. Yeah, but I'll say something. Shouts yeah. to him. Yeah, shout out to OG Kerosene. Uh, truth. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, anyway, my turn. City exclusive. Whoa, okay. So, Whoa. city exclusive for, uh, we're going to go with uh, 289 Niagara Falls, Ontario, yeah. um, our region. Uh, like, it is very, very, uh, you know, you know, like, it's aquatic, I guess. It's going <laughs> to be. Because, you know, there's water that falls here and stuff. The hashtag oh, has right. sense. That being said, um, our region is known for how um, lush it is as far as agriculture and uh, particularly uh, the viticulture industry. So I think that we should have top notes of like, you know, wine grapes or something like that. Uh, keep it crafty as well as other fruits like apples and peaches and uh, cherries that we uh, tend to grow here as well. Uh, I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, be a little, t a little bit uh, deciduous as well. Uh, because we don't have a lot of coniferous uh, trees here. Um, and uh, I want it to be primarily like a fruity aquatic, um, but not an aquatic that leans, uh, you know, marine in a salty way because it's fresh water here. So uh, maybe driftwood and, uh, you know, standard uh, river notes I think would be cool. Uh, so that's what I would want. Um, a fruity aquatic with uh, some woodsiness a little bit. But who's who making it? it? Yes, yeah. um, but who's making it? Uh, uh, the person I think that can execute the scent uh, to a T is, is uh, Brad already knows who this is. Um, is uh, Jerome Epinet. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Timmy, or Timmy, you just killed me with that. <laughs> so I think that's who can uh, make the scent for us. I, I think that'd be lovely. And of course, I would get him to betray Brad's 
Atelier Cologne roots, and he's going to make it under Byredo. Oh, oh. <laughs> betrayed. Oh, betrayed. Yeah. Oh, um, no. And he's worked with Byredo loads of times. Oh, in the past. man. It's so obvious. <laughs> Love yeah, it. Man. Manny, I see behind you. Hold up. Let me get, get your picture. You got those by right now. Move your camera a little bit to the. Oh, and then they're mine. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Yes. I see them by stacked right up out of the frame. Yeah. What's up? Right boxes. Man. Just just hanging out in the back there. Yeah. And you see the Matriarch stickers, fam? Yep. I do see those. Yeah. Looking tight. You got what's. You got some. Is that an Amouage box behind that, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Is that for Sancho <laughs> Fresh on top of that? No. Oh, hell no, man. We don't, <laughs> no, man. We don't do Mano Fresh Hold up. up. No. Is that. Is that. Is that a 250 mil Udis for hand, mind you? Hold up, move your move your head a little bit. <laughs> you don't. Know, this is a. It's I'm joking. Argent. It's jokes. It's jokes. No, it's no, jokes. but I have to show. Yeah. I have to hit y'all with it. Again. Bay d'Argent. Bay d'Argent. Bay d'Argent. Bay d'Argent. So, a number of us know what this place represents. The, the oh. like the very finest in the La Collection Privé. Oh, put and it then, back in your pants, man. I beg to differ. <laughs> Y'all beg to differ, huh? It's like that. Mm. As long as that's not Oud is Pahizel or <laughs> Grand v, or or Grand v. G Mountain. Yeah. G Mountain's cool. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, it's funny. It always comes back to La Collection Privé somehow. Uh, anyway, if you guys want to tell us what your city exclusive would be in the live chat please let us know i think that would be really cool if y'all did because um it's cool that uh you know we come from such you know um x amount of areas in the fragcom and uh we're able to you know come together as one on the internet but uh we're represented with uh, of where we're from and stuff like that and uh yeah. who we actually are i think uh geographically speaking has to do with that um uh, wholeheartedly and that's why I think these city exclusives are awesome, including this one right here, Claude Vanchois. Again, that is my Ooh. scent of the day. And if you guys look closely, what does that say? Made by Cascade Scents. Hey, hey. See, y'all see that? Official. Wow. How yeah, much right. extra was that on there? <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, no, that 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 it, that's complimentary. Oh, it is. Okay, it better be for that. Yeah, yeah better be for that price, especially the, um, you know, the city exclusives from the Labo. Uh, which are only available for the next, uh, I believe, 10 days. Wow. A limited yeah. window, no doubt. Yeah, so if you guys are into um, having something that's a little bit more exclusive, please, you know, check them out if you haven't yet because I think they have really cool scents from, like, Dallas, Tokyo, New York, London, yeah. Moscow. Uh, they do good stuff. And, James, uh, speaking of the six, uh, from what I know, Lalabo is supposed to have their city exclusive. Um, by 2019. All right, I'll mark it on my calendar, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two yeah, years. Yeah, so that that should be lovely. Of course, Lalo right. just debuted their first ever Toronto boutique here, and uh, nice. it's been really cool. It's in a really hipster area too, which makes sense for the brand. Um, I think mm. so. And it's funny because it's a brand that I used to diss all the time, mainly because of the fact that they're so overpriced. Mm. But I really love this. If you guys have a favorite Lalo, let us know in the comments. Uh, anyway, like uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know ASAP. We will be getting to those in just a bit. But we want to go over, um, this is a kind of an impromptu segment, um, the official Team Top 5 nicknames. Hey, Why oh not? God. <laughs> this is imperative <laughs> that we do this. Like, come on. We've got, it's important. It's we got to, yeah, yeah, we've got to do it's this. We've got to make it official. This is, we've got to make it official. <laughs> Shit is official. Starting with Mr. Triple Link himself. What is your nickname and why? Two to the fresh. <laughs> two fresh. And it can't just be T-O, right? It's got to be the number two exactly. because that's just how it goes, you know? I was going to do something with, like, triple because it's three, but yeah. we'll go two. So yeah. two fresh. And if you guys don't know why, just take a look at my collection back here. 80% fresh pretty much down there. <laughs> it's so it has to be fresh. because like, be. Yeah, so, like, uh, or, like, it has to be too fresh, like, two chains or, like, two cold <laughs> two. Scorpio or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so, like. That's that. That's what we're rolling with. Too fresh for a team top Bam, five. I like it. Yeah. And we need to get that on a team top five esports jersey. Oh yeah, two. that'd be. I'm so getting that in. I'm, I'm gonna flex in that. And everyone's gonna be dressed up. Yeah, everyone's gonna be dressed up at uh in Milan for um Essence, and there's gonna be these oh dudes like us who look like we just walked out of a League of Legends tournament. Oh, oh, we're gonna be just take over. We're gonna take over Essence. We're gonna crash the party there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. We might as well do the same when we're at EDC 2018. What's up, Chin? Yeah. Yeah. All righty. So, George, 
Do you have a nickname and why? Or um, would you like to create one on the spot right now? I know I'm uh, uh, G Money. I like G Money. Ooh, G Money. Yeah, G-money. Um, because I spend a disgusting amount of uh, money on fragrances that nobody's ever heard of just to feel as I'm better than everybody else. <laughs> you know what? It's funny how accurate that is. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's actually money. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also uh, 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 down on the on the download, a uh, complete gangster. So, when you said download, I had to say pause. Pause. Right. I have pause. to say pause. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just just in case. Just in case. I'm mean, I mean, not if there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. But moving yeah, on. That's fine. So we got G Money, we got G Fresh, okay. and we got J Royal. Who are you and why? I'm the X Man. That is sick. X man. Yeah. I like it. And I mentioned so, this before because I, I heard of name first from Xavier Malice, the tennis player. And I just know that James is about that Zerjoff life. Mm-hmm. We have a fire Zerjoff video on his channel. So, yeah. yeah. Please watch it. Zerjoff yeah. is a life for the X Man. But why? <laughs> please, please elaborate. Because I love Zerjoff, man. I love. Um, Naxos is probably my favorite fragrance mm. ever. Yeah. And wow. um, Renaissance is probably my favorite summer fragrance ever. Hey. And it's from the same line within Zerzhov. So that tells you like, wow. how much of a yeah. fanboy I am. Hashtag um, 1861. 61. Yeah. 1861, man. It's so good. Good, good year. Zephyr. <laughs> Zephyr is pretty good, too. Zephyr, honestly, it smells like an Amouage offering with the smokiness. And, um, I'm happy to have all three of them. And uh, I can only hope to get more. Lovely. Nice. Yeah. X Man strikes again. <laughs> yeah, man, that's huge. That's, yeah. Cool. that's it. Tim, can you compete with this? Uh, I, I, I like the name was given to me for the fact that it was in a song. So, uh, Timmy Turner. That's but not only the song. Oh, also, the Fairy Godparents. Godparents. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's the only reason my name is Timmy Turner. <laughs> but you also did what in a recent video of yours with the fragrance Zoologist Panda? A dance? Panda, yes. panda, 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 panda. Yeah, so designer <laughs> Timmy Turner. If you all don't know the Timmy Turner freestyle, hashtag yeah. XXL. That means oh, Timmy in life. Yeah, Timmy <laughs> Turner. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. Yeah. We, we, we're not going to relive the lyrics right now, but <laughs> shout out to Timmy. Yeah, yeah. Copyright Timmy striker. <laughs> okay. Yeah, do not. Now, I hate to put the four of you on the spot, but I don't believe I have a nickname yet. Oh, God. Mm, standard. Oh. Oh, the standard? It's the, the standard. standard. The standard. Okay, so I guess I'm the standard. No. Which is funny. Standard, no. standard or basic? You pick one. <laughs> you pick one. I pick the lesser <laughs> I'm going to pick the lesser of two evils. Yeah, that's standard. Absurd. Here's the thing. Now, I believe it or not, and I told Tim this, I might have told James this, that before I started repping my city with Cascade Sense, no, yeah. I almost called this channel Standard Sense. St- standard oh, Sense. Wow. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. St- SS. It's so beautiful. SS. Because oh. I would have just said standard. Because I always say standard in real life. Welcome back, well, everybody. That's, that's it's, some... the <laughs> it's the standard. It's the standard. Hey, guys, I... Maddie back here with another <laughs> thing on this. Wow. Standard. Frag forum, or whatever you say. Hey, forum. Hey, got, hey, forum. hey, back back hey forum. Maddie back here. It's just like I asked That's what you would say verbatim. Oh, God. Verbatim. Oh, verbatim. There it is. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing, because I would ask James, like, what are you wearing? Oh, what's your Saturday? He'd be like, Naxos. He'd be like, standard. Yeah, I don't know. That's that just it. It's just standard. A standard is life. Standard yes. hashtag standard is life. And if you guys don't already have one, um, for maybe, uh, what would Ashton's nickname? Oh yeah, mm. Ash Keshem. The Ash legend. Oh, oh yeah, Ash Keshem. Yeah. No, I think we already got, we got a banger name already, dude. It's, it's missing though. Oh yes, missing right. Yeah. Pokemon, the missing so because so the, Ash Ketchum is way too obvious, so missing no makes a lot of sense. So it it makes sense with with the whole Pokemon theme, Ash. But for those of you who haven't played the original Blue and Red Pokemon video uh-huh. games, there's a secret character called Missing No, who is a hidden character, and 
Yeah. On the nose. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, see, Brad wouldn't know because he's too young for this. Yeah, that was before I, I was even born. So. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Standard. Hashtag Standard. Manny. <laughs> there it is. That, that's what's up. Hashtag Standard. Um, yeah, so I believe we have the nickname list, which we will debut officially in a trailer near you one day. One day. Um, we, we've recorded a bit of uh, each of us already, so stay tuned for Team Top 5 original content besides yep. our live streams, hopefully to come in the near future. Cannot wait to get that out for y'all. And uh, we're just mm. trying to have fun with the fragrance community because, um, you know, I think it's uh, cool if we can always, um, you know, get together in some sort of way as far as uh, a channel like this. I think it's an awesome platform. And hopefully yeah. you guys enjoy this. And um, with that being said, we might as well jump into uh, where we get you guys involved. Thank you for being so lovely in the comments. I know I have not really been uh, attentive to the chat uh, in uh, recent minutes, but let's go with some questions and I'll pick the first question and feel free to guys ask us as many questions as you'd like. I see um, Chris here who has a question. Who is the oldest and youngest of Team Top 5? So we already know who the youngest is. <laughs> they need to it. Yeah. Oh boy. That is the big homie. Yeah. The tallest of the homies. We got mm. like taller than all of us though, even though he's younger. Wait, Brett, how tall are you? Take a guess. Take take a guess. I've already talked to George about this, so he 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 already knows. Take a guess. I mean, I try and mess with my camera angle a little bit, so it makes. Five seven. Oh, uh, that's that's Six, pretty close. <laughs> How Dude, old? I'm like I'm five, like seven and a half. That's, that's yeah. I was gonna say I thought you were around Timmy's height. Uh, I was yeah. overestimating because like maybe like y'all maybe I was just like completely off, but five seven ish. So there's that, and then there's Ashton, who's uh, the oldest, of course. Well, I think it's taller than all of us. Um, so there's that. As Combined. Well. Combined. 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 Brutal. Yeah, that, that would be a hell of a, a missing no to not be able to, to see. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. is what's up. Um, anyway, uh, Brad, if you want to pick the next question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shoot. Um, my bad. I'm about to start looking right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, guys, start asking some questions now and help me out a little bit. <laughs> I got I to gotta no. find one. Um, Let's see. Oh, there's not some auto uncensored. Okay. That was about 10 minutes ago. So let's go a little farther back than that. Um, that was a really see. good question, actually. Um, in fact, not a gonna, lot of questions. No, I'm going to guess it. I'm going to guess it. It was something along the lines of what, what's your favorite, in fact, um, intelligent when I alien prod? Yeah. Um, favorite flanker that smells nothing like the f fragrance it's a flanker of. Ooh. Yeah. I like I that a lot. Good question. question. It's a great yeah. question. Hmm. Free platinum mega wee by Chanel. Next. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Versace Anyone? Mano Fresh. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's true. Tim, I know you got one. Oh. oh. Free for me, too. Duro Home Sport, yeah. 2012, especially. That's my eighth like Duro Home. I, mean, I don't think that's a valid answer, Brad. I think why not? Definitely... You think? I don't think it's a valid answer. What? Yeah, it's you still see, Iris in it, bro. It's still, Hardly. Yeah. There's more. Dude, the citrus takeover. Because the original like... Dior Amspore had nothing to do with the original. Ginger, Dior yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one. Dude, yeah. these couldn't smell more different than me. In. So I get yeah. like chocolatey, like cocoa, leathery stuff from the original Dior Homme. I don't know. If you were going to say 2017, I would have been like, okay. Yeah, 2017. Yeah, yeah. Pure well, like, or cologne. You know what? Cologne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, you guys are into it. Your own cologne. I like it even more than actually. Yeah. So, thank you. <laughs> DH cologne. DHC. DHC. Yeah, I love it. I need to wake yeah. up. <laughs> There's that. Um, I. It's funny because every time I say DHC or DHP, I almost say DHT. Like the people who covered "Listen to Your Heart." Do y'all remember that? <laughs> yeah. I know James knows what I'm talking about. That was a wicked track too. Shout out to Roxette. Um, Tim, do you have a fragrance that is, uh, you know, reminiscent? Or not reminiscent of its actual flanker too. What uh, um, reminiscent to or hmm. not reminiscent to the flanker, or to, to the original? To the original. So the flanker yeah. is not reminiscent to the flanker. Okay, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> tough. Um, Viking. No, I'm kidding. What? Is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> boss. Boss. Hashtag boss. triggers. <laughs> boss, bro. Um, man, it's actually kind of tough. Um, uh, actually, I don't. I don't. I don't have any. I don't remember. 
off the top of my head, no. Yeah. I'm going to say um, also, if I can, is pure malt, I mean, pure malt's kind of there. You know what I mean? Like, mm. pure malt's kind of, I think, I think I'm going to stick with Versace Mano Fresh because there's just nothing. But, um, I thought yeah. um, James would say, like, maybe Sun Essence. Nice. No, man, mine, mine would be Le Mans Essence de Parfum. Right, yeah. Wow. Nice. Okay. You really yeah, I think, like it's, it. I think it, it's really nice, and it's uh, it's quite different from the original. Uh, and that's also reflective in the bottle, right? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Respect, respect. Cool. All righty. All right. That's cool. Um, uh, George, you want to throw on a question or a one? Oh, no. Well, I, I already picked one. Oh, okay. Um, uh, so no next. Uh, I saw, well, Abai asked, um, what about Creation E from Roja Dove? Roja Dove, how do you say that? Um, yeah. <laughs> so I, I had a chance to smell it one time. It was in a uh, maybe a Neiman Marcus or something like that. I don't know. Um, but it was great. Like opens up like Coca Cola has the cognac in there, woodsy vanilla underneath. But that price tag, though, I mean, that made my eyes pop out of my head. <laughs> um, so expensive. And to be honest, uh, this smells like almost the exact same Dua. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I could literally go there, <laughs> spray it on my hand, spray the other one side by side, and <laughs> drink, and couldn't tell the difference. I mean, I don't know, but straight up, cool. this is good stuff for the price. Though, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, if if you got that kind of money, sure. I don't personally, so it's a pass for me. Even though it's a great, like, very nice scent. Yeah. I made a point yeah. never to smell any Roja Doves because <laughs> I know I'll buy them. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No. Yeah, I know I'm just going to no, be like, give me that. Give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I'll buy all them damn colognes. Let me buy my Zerja Every first, single one. And then maybe I'll, I'll move up. No, nah, man. Like, <laughs> let's be real. Like, it's weird because, like, we're 20-somethings, and, like, we all haven't covered, you know, any Roja Parfums in depth. Mainly yeah. because I just don't like I don't like none of them resonate with me. Maybe not yet, but like Creation E is just like okay, it has this Coca Cola tinge to it, um, but it has the standard whatever you'd expect out of Roja Parfums or Om fragrances. After that, so mm -hmm. it's just it's just a middle aged masculine fragrance that has you know a pretty tight blend to it. But I'm thinking to myself. Minus its presentation, does it go for that acting asking price on juice alone? And no. in my personal opinion, no way. Um, mm -hmm. So I think the yeah. juice itself is good, but like, it's something I personally don't prefer uh, over you know other things I'd rock for those occasions. And I don't think it's flattering enough because that is criteria for me to a certain extent. And yeah. I just don't think it's worth it. So. That's just me. Tim. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, Roja Dove creation. Uh, I, I, I ref try to refrain from talking about Roja Doves. Yeah, wow. so might, get, uh, might get my channel taken down. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> so when you talk about... Um, uh, so Roja Dove is a, uh, a house that is extremely expensive. I don't think any of their scent is usually worth the price. You know, you're buying into the name and you're buying into the presentation. So um, like with that, with that in mind... Like if you if you are wanting to buy Roger Doves, you you know like I said, you know just be prepared to be or a little bit disappointed by the actual scent. Some people are actually um, persuaded by the by the the amount of price that like oh my god it's five hundred oh my god it smells so good because it's five hundred. That's mm -hmm. not true. Try to take the yeah. price out of the question and judge it just on the scent alone. You'll find that it's not a five hundred dollar. You exactly. It's so hard to do though, man. It's yeah. like if you if yeah. you put that kind of money, you're gonna brainwash yourself into like yeah. yes. why that's, that's, that's why else would you have it? You know? Yeah. yeah. It's that's hard to think, reality. Uh, yeah, it's hard to think um what's it called? Both qualitatively and quantitatively in that regard, because all of that logic goes by the wayside once you convince yourself that five hundred dollars it's automatically good. It's like wow, yes, ex exactly. So that that's the mentality you need to get out of your head if you're diving into diving into Roja Dove because yeah. you're gonna spend grands over grand if you convince yourself that they're all good because of the price. I want to so, do a scent test on yeah. some of them as a result. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah that's it. Uh, with that said, um, Creation E is good. Um, it's good, but I think um, 
the evening the 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 mobster one from Dua is almost mm-hmm. that same fragrance. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was at Manny's house and it was like almost exact same. Now, yeah. if you're gonna pick, like to me, I, I would say the lesser of, like I don't I don't support Dua's business practice, of course, and also that their phone stuff. Yeah. But I also don't su- support um, Roja Dove with his practices as well. So if I just pick the lesser of two evils, I would go with the Dua since it's the cheaper one plus yeah. it's almost exactly the same. Y'all, y'all hear that? Hashtag tripping. All right. <laughs> Respect. Shouts uh, to Abi for asking the question. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Um, oh, well, we got, uh, oh, yeah. Hang on. Manny, yeah. I didn't get to say. He'll, he'll, he'll throw everything now. into the tub. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All of it into the tub. Yeah. All of it into the tub. Um, no, like, I don't know. He, he, uh, well, actually, the big thing that I want to say, which I think is more important than Roha Dove, is Team Top 5 just got 100 subscribers. Hey! hey. 100. Right. Okay, before it's, we it's continue. The, um, my cousins and Manny's cousins combined effort. <laughs> no, did you say Roha Dove? Uh, yeah, whatever. That, that, that's badass. First off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roja oh, Dove, Roja Dove, yeah, Ro- like, yeah. like Roja Dove, yeah. Oh, Roja Dove. Red Dove. Okay, that's cool. Ah, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, yeah, like, I, I think that they are really good, and there is something kind of individual about them. But I mean, talk about um, what's the thing? Emperor's new clothes. Emperor's is new that the clothes? story? No, uh, the the emperor. Anybody heard of the story of the, the emperor with his new right, clothes? Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's this guy, mm-hmm. emperor. He walks out, and everybody's like, "Oh wow, it's so amazing!" And then some fire, some like eight, nine year old kid, uh, Bradley, I think, just comes out, <laughs> and um, it's, it's like, it's like the kid, like, like this guy is this guy's not wearing any clothes. He's completely nude. Um, and that's kind of the hype between Roha Dove. Like it is really good, but it's not five hundred. It's not five hundred pound. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, five hundred quid. It's a absolutely time. ridiculous. Like I get it, and 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 some people will just buy it figuratively and literally. Um, I I'm not that impressed with Creation E. I remember one of their ouds. I remember smelling and thinking, okay, you know what? Fair enough. That is that is something that is quite striking and beautiful. But um, there's there are other companies that are going to make that for a lot cheaper, and are going to make basically the same thing, yeah. um, whether they're dodgy or not. <laughs> Is there precious metals no. like in their packaging? Like what? Like, it has to be like jewels in the in, in the cap yeah. or something like that, or I don't know. But even Swarovski don't don't forget go for that much. I think it depends on the bottle. Like Creation E definitely doesn't have, probably, probably doesn't have one. But there's one called Britannia, which is 1.5 k in price. Probably has some jewels in it. It has to. The thing is, right? Yeah, is, when it gets to that amount of money, I start thinking to myself, um, what of, what other things could I spend? I could spend this on a holiday. Oh yeah, yeah vacation, I nice trip. I could I could visit each and every single one of you, um, like in a week, and still have money to spare. Yeah, at now, that point, um, like Tim, for example, you spend only a few hundred on a holiday, which low key you won't get into, but kind of paid for itself. <laughs> well yep. done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that that's absolutely right. Uh, but you know, Roja Parfums, if you're you know a fan of spending that much on them. And you're into that more power to you. I'm your biggest fan. It's just clearly, I. Uh, it's just, you know, maybe it's our like age or tax bracket right now. We're just not feeling 5K fragments, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's 5K. <okay. Yeah. laughs> yeah. I, I, I know exactly what you're um, saying. Use car or a bottle of fragrance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it oh, yeah. Got to weigh these options <laughs> here. Use and th- that's another thing. Um, Tim, I'm pretty sure you have a segment you want to debut when you're hosting in the near future, uh, oh like house rent or fragrance. Yes, pay rent or buy fragrances. That's a new hey, segment oh I'm going to host if, when, oh, whenever wow. I'm the host. Yeah. <laughs> Is it so good that you would rather not pay rent? <laughs> so <laughs> electrical <laughs> bill or heating bill, bill yeah, in the winter? Yep. 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 Okay. And it's funny because I was talking to Homegirl at the Lalabo Boutique in um, – at, yeah. uh, you know, it was the Lola Bodas in the Nordstrom uh, in Yorkdale in Toronto. And she's like, hmm, would I rather, like, 
buy this or pay rent. <laughs> and she said, not the latter. She bought this. Wow. And I'm like, oh, I hold on. You'll be homeless, but you're going to smell great whilst you're homeless. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, you, you get that money, on, you know, on the streets. Hashtag yeah. peddler's license. That's what's peddler's up. license. <laughs> I mean, if you had one. <laughs> but uh, that, 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 that's what's up. Uh, whose turn is it to pick a question? I, I have a cut, co- actually, a stockpile that I've been keeping track of. Yes. Nice. Uh, just hey. just a, quick, a quick one uh, that I, I think Chris he mentioned. Uh, uh, Lidge versus 24 Go Dark. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Are you even kidding? And, uh, you know, I'm going to add one more to the mix. One gentleman. Okay. What? Shadow. Another one gentleman. Yo, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that the one with the, the light blue juice? Is that the blue bottle? Really? Yeah. So it's Outdoor basically, time. I kind of interpret it as a slightly fresher take on Lidge and Go Dark. Okay. But as far as performance goes, I think uh, I got a lot better performance with uh, with Lidge. Um, <laughs> I heard Timmy's voice. Tim, are you what editing right now? <laughs> no, 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 no. You are editing right now. I, I heard your intro. <laughs> Dude, I can't edit while I live stream. My computer cannot handle it. <laughs> uh, that, that, that lack of RAM, though. That lack of RAM. I need to these that he edits that's 4K. That's 6TB. For, yeah, my computer is... Uh, so the one gentleman, 24 gold, and Lidge. That's the Lidge. Mm. Yeah. Are we talking Lidge. original Lidge, or are we talking like Lidge we can get right now? Uh, I, I think either or. I mean, okay. again, I, I think with Lidge, it's similar to CH Men. Uh, you know, I smelled, the, I smelled the original. I have the, the second version of the formulation, so it's not the black bottle, but it's the, just the transparent. It's not the newest one, but um, but for, for, from scent alone, they're you know they all kind of do a similar thing, and I was surprised when I got twenty four go dark because I blind bought that and then I just took a whiff and I was like, oh, it's a lidge, mm. <laughs> or at least like, this is the opening definitely, um, but uh, as a collector, I love my scent stories, so I like lining them all up, so I'd go go dark personally just from a vein. Go dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh come on, you. Him. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so Dude, so what's who, going on? So who's who's on this? <laughs> Tim, Tim, what would you pick? Out of- um, I'm not experienced with Go Dark or Gentlemen, so I'm, I only have ever smelled Lidge, so I can't give my opinion. So by default, you'll go with Lidge. By default, this Lidge. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go Lidge too, mainly yeah. because um, you have I, common sense. Oh yo 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 yo! yo, 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 yo. Okay. Real, real, real no, talk. I am, I am going in with this, right? Uh, uh, hold on. Going... You picked the wrong question, James. <laughs> okay, no, so uh, we have um, George, who's adamantly pro Lidge, which I, which I can empathize with. That's cool. That being said, the, the reason I get not going with Lidge as well is because Lidge now in the you know like Guerlain Betiver. Abbey Rouge bottles is so ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. to not want to, to, to involve yourself with that, knowing what it once was, and it feels like hey. a higher perfume percentage in the 24 gold go black, I get that. I'm really indifferent to this question because I was never the biggest Lidge fan in the first place. But if I had to pick any formulation, it would be OG Lidge. You Brad. know, try out try the gentleman, the gentleman, like especially Brad, the one gentleman. Like, that. That's that's. That's the one that you would like probably the most out of the three because again it has a fresher element to it. Okay. All right. It's a bit lighter and it's uh it's it's uh it's less mature as well. I feel like Lidge is is it's really good, right? great yeah. like you know mid thirties, forty five. Yeah, I mean, year old. I like I like mature sense too, but like I, I see what you're saying. For sure. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. So the thing I'll have to try it too. Yeah. All right. The thing that it. annoys me about this. Yeah. The thing that really annoys me about this. Is that his question is now valid because of the reformulated version? That's, right? that's a fact, though, because like we're, that, we're talking about like, what everyone has access to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, if we were going to go vintage, about everyone, yeah. if we were going to go vintage, then it would just be a clear. It would be Muhammad Ali versus I don't know some low key. I'm not that good on fighting knowledge. Low low key fighters, but with the reformulated version. The thing that the thing that's unfortunate is that those two are even now compa- uh, competitors. 
you know, uh, and that and that's I can cannot stand going for that. Um, I'm still I I really don't get D and G uh, the one gentleman. I just don't get it at all. But the twenty four one, go dark. God, uh, should should we um should we should we see who should we um should we really throw a haymaker in there and should we throw Pard on in there as well? Uh, I mean, free. I have Pardon right there. Then, if I'm going to do that, no. But Pardon, okay, let's do it. Let's let's put Pardon right. I mean, um, well, then it's that. You know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, free. yeah. To be fair, free. Uh, Pardon absolutely smashes the new reformulation of Lidge. Oh yeah. The old school re reformulate. The old original formulation of Lidge is still king in my book. But I've, only got it for a little, but I've only got it for a certain period the of time. Vintage Lich is um, an unwearable scent, though, because of how strong it is. It is ungodly strong. Like, no, it's it's perfect. Like when, it's perfect. When, would, when would you wear um, Vintage Lich? I, I, I smelled it because my friend had it. I, I, like, I put it on my hand, though, like, I think a few live stream ago, and I was annoyed the whole live stream. I was like, I want to scrub this off so bad. Because it, it smells good, but it's so, Timmy. so, so strong. It's, Timmy... You wear Mitza in Las Vegas. What but on Mitza, earth are you Mitza talking about? Mitza is not now? as strong as Lidge, though. Like, I, oh, I, I, like, I think, I think, like, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to strong fragrances because I love, love, love my strong fragrances. But Lidge level. is yeah. like on the next level amount of strong. It's, un wow. it's annoying. Also, strong. Tim and I's skin types. We tend skin, to have, yeah. We yeah. tend it's to have really. a lot of with our acidic. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with our acidic Asian skin types, like <laughs> syrupy fragrances tend to go off on our skin. And OG Lidge is ridiculous. Really? Pause. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, un it's, un it's for me. It's unwearable off my skin. It's it's pretty wow. sickly. Here, here, here's the fun fact though. Um, Lidge on me is actually kind of like the, about the same as Mitsa. Wow. Um, I don't want to say the word. It starts with white. It ends with people. But white people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hey. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All righty. Okay. And, and, and I understand James has a collection of uh, questions that he's been piling up. What's going on? Yeah, dude. Yeah, go I you. feel like that's my like my new job is like I always I always just keep track just to make sure. Oh, so you are the logistics manager? Logistics uh, manager. Let's, let's, let's do it. X Man coming through. Yeah. He's the X Man. He's the X Factor. X okay, I'm gonna put my well, this fragrance away, but I'll leave you guys with this question: What is a good niche fragrance to start with? Hey. Person -I -T. Collecting, sure. what's, what's a great starter niche fragrance and so there's I feel like there's different approaches to this question because you yeah. can come <laughs> come at it from a point or a perspective of well maybe you can pick a niche fragrance that's close to a designer so you can help the transition yeah or you can pick something that's completely avant-garde so you really expand your horizons in regards to you know what niche fragrances are capable of it's but uh, I'll let you guys run with it you um, you you pique my interest with this question. I do get it a lot, and I I like the way you prefaced it with those two caveats. If anything, that being said, I dislike people asking specifically, should I get like a Ventus as a starter niche fragrance, or should I get Reflection Man or something like that? The question I have for you in response is, as a designer head or a designer fragrance user, for the most part, what fragrances did you like? before niche fragrances even became an option for you. And then I would help assist that person with yeah. what they are looking for. So if they wanted something really, really, really fresh, um, maybe like a fruity fresh to a certain extent, the first thing I show them is, you know, Millicent Imperial by Creed, duh. Um, if they're looking for something that was, you know, maybe like uh, spice balmy, if anything, maybe I'd show them Tabac Rouge by Fédon or Herod by Parfums de Marly, or something like that. If they're looking for um, maybe something that encompasses anything Middle Eastern-ish, then I'd show them Jubilation 25 Man, or Amouage in general. So I, I think that is a good question to respond with. I'm not going to be like, you have to get Aventus first, you have to get Reflection Man first, you have to get a Tom Ford Private Blend first. No, literally, it, it, like let's find out where this person stands if they are looking for a beginner, a quote unquote. You gotta get Leighton first, bro. Yeah, Leighton. or you. Oh god. So, but if you want to get specific with that, um, for them, you can. <laughs> but, that's hilarious. I just think it's good to, to know where they stand as far as what they personally like. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna throw answers in their face because I wouldn't want them 
I wouldn't want that for me, you know? Well, it's like anything. It's like even designer fragrances. Well, what designer fragrance should I get? It's like it depends on your taste. It's it's exactly. all very personal. Subjective. If you want something answered, you answer it yourself. I think it's all, easy. All, all, that, all that is good, but like um, – and, and this question, I think um, we're just giving them suggestions on what to go and try out. It's not necessary. We're telling them, like, you need to buy this. But, like, we're just giving suggestions. Let's be real, like, Tim. What when we this, think, and, like, when this um, thing gets asked on the, on the Facebook fragrance community, a lot of these people are asking, what should I blind buy is really what they're asking. Yeah, but that's, like, that's out of our hands, though. Like, While that's really true, real. let's pretend we're talking to a, a normal person who's not throwing money around. And I, I respect where you're coming from because you're, you're right. Like, there right. are suggestions. But what, what's, but what's most people are not looking for suggestions. They're looking for what I blind by next. What's a fragrance that can potentially, in your eyes, show someone the magic of niche perfumery? It's such a blanket statement because niche Naxos. perfumery, niche Naxos. perfumery <laughs> is, for we'll, example, we'll agree, we're all agree on Naxos and Bergamot Soleil. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, like most of. Oh, yeah. Let's be real, because like most of Atelier, like as far as that line, does not quote unquote smell niche in the form of like Erosia per per se, well, or um you know a La Collection Privé. <laughs> Brad hashtag triggered. <laughs> wow. Brad's gone. I'm oh, turning you off. <laughs> Any, anything by Dua. Oh, oh wow. everything. Oh, wow. The the yeah. entire line. Are you kidding? I'll show you. Well, actually, I mean. No, I'm not going to go there. Um, <laughs> really? You just yeah. got to pick something with a lot of depth, something yeah. that develops like crazy, something with high yeah. quality ingredients, quote unquote. No, non linear fragrances, because a lot of designers are linear. Yeah. So, that's one thing that's like, about like niche. Yeah. Designer, designer. Sign <laughs> It's I, Tom I Ford, Grave you know. Ever in Disguise. Duo Brothers right there. Uh, <laughs> Duetto. George, you're oh, a robot oh, right now, George. Yo, guys, Mike, 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 Mike. It's because I'm excited. It's because I'm excited. Right, George, you're Mike. Um, right, yeah, I know. I'm not, I'm not Mike, I'm George. And what I'm saying is that you have um, either Siva or if you want to go better, what you could do. Is my mic okay? You it's, all it's, uh, down. It had a lot of feedback, a lot of crunchy feedback. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. Or Can't if you want to go, I, I've been there, dude. I had my own mic problems. <laughs> yeah, there's mic struggles. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I um. Yo, Urban, oh, the, the Dunhill out. icon is not a good mic, you know. <laughs> uh, nice. That's why I want to get the absolute. I forgot to plug it in. I'm gonna have to get the absolute <laughs> Dunhill. <laughs> um, but if we want to go another vetiver, why don't we just go with this? Hey, That's a really, that is a solid. That is honestly a solid. Um, Got a sniffle. Nice thing to go for. That's, uh, and that's it's it. not going to break pricey. the bank either in comparison yeah. to niches because that stuff retails for, I believe, 175 no. US for a 100 that's ml. Great. And I, I found it for 130. I'm about to get a bottle pretty soon, actually. So Yeah, if you're, yeah, you can find it for less bottle. online too, which is lovely. Yeah, but, um, you know, in case people are wary of discounters being, you know, like unofficial, of you're, you're that person too because I've seen that. Um, it's also one that, you know, by any means, it's never going to break the bank if you even consider niche fragrances, for example. So there's yeah. that. Yeah. So that's definitely good. And not just that, but this, um, this definitely has a sort of a... It has a bit of a designer kind of thing, as in it's like a citrus. Mm -hmm. But you can tell that there's a bit of extra quality and yeah. uh, a lot more construction work has gone into this. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a good transition fragrance. So uh, Vetiver Babylon. It I think the two big things for niche is quality and complexity. Those are two things that I think separate them a little bit from designers. Because a lot of times with designers, you can tell that they're manufactured the same out of a factory. Yep, and they'll and like I feel like for the most part, designers too, they all kind of smell similar. So like with niche, you're looking for complexity, quality, and uniqueness are the main three things usually. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it just. Whatever floats your boat. Like, I mean, it's funny because, like I say, uh, if you want something answered, answer it yourself. But sometimes you need to ask those questions back to someone for them to answer it for them. Um, so there's that. Uh, that being said, um, anyone else on that topic by any chance? Uh, next question. Question on deck, bro. Yes, sir. The Broadwalk asks. She's awesome. Yeah. Are there any female marketed fragrances that you guys confidently rock on a regular basis? Oh, great question. question. Really yeah. great question. <laughs> uh, 
easy. Trante and Aru can bomb by Chanel. Um, Eau de Toilette. At one point, the list exclusive to Chanel were marketed towards only women. So um, it came out around the time that it still was. So I will say that as well as, oh, well, it said often. So that's definitely one that is often for me. Um, yeah. Um, I have other female fragrances, but I don't rock them as often as that. So like, mm -hmm. other examples would be uh, Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Yeah. Uh, Portrait of Lady and Cardinal Flower by Freddie Small. Uh, my two. And <laughs> you know what? Uh, oh, yeah. Alien Essence Absolute by Thierry McGlynn. Ooh. Bro, nice. what about Hypnotic Poison? Yeah. Uh, oh, more. Midnight Poison, I would say, or, but they discontinued it, so that's why yeah. I have to use my bottle sparingly. So you just use Pegasus now? <laughs> um, hypnotic Poison or Pegasus? Pegasus is a women's fragrance, let's be real. Like, yeah. wow. Because it is Hypnotic Poison. It's Hypnotic Poison. Yeah, so if you guys are hashtag triggered about that, talk to platforms of Marley because they're the ones cloning stuff. Yes, I'm going to open up again. Mm. Every, oh, stream. Right. Every stream. <laughs> Every stream. Every stream. PDM is a clone house. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, Brad. All right. Does this count? Um, Home Jardin Solanil? I mean, it's that's always in the women's section of Sephora, yeah, right? What? I mean, no, look, this is. I mean, ateliers are in the women's section as well. That is true. Well, and if that's the case, you already know. Hey. And I tell you, yeah, I mean, I'll rock it till I die. You know what I'm saying? But you don't got no girly fragrances, fam. There's no way. Well, let's see. I'm trying to look through my collection right now. Do like, you have light blue for women, by any chance? Who? Do you have light blue for women, by any chance? Uh, no, I do not. Well, that's oh, so good too. I do. I got 24 I? ice gold. Go fresh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I've I've 20. I have a sample of that. Uh, 24 ice gold, which smells almost exactly the same too. It's fruity. Um. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to be getting this pretty soon. Ariel Shoshana Eau de Parfum. Uh, ah. I know that is unisex, but it's kind of leading more feminine, probably marketed more for women at least. But that exactly. passion fruit in the opening is like bonkers. Ah, sounds so sweet. It's Yeah, if, if you like pulp, you'll love love uh, that one. Pulp. <laughs> but it's, it's the, way better than pulp, though, I'm, I'm just saying. Because pulp has hey. that weird, sour, like rotting fruit. Nasty. Who knows what that is? Once you get by the oh, get my boy pulp, dude. I don't know what it is about it. Like every time I smell it out of the cap, I'm there's I I want to like it, but then that like pungent sourness just hits me in the sourness. face, and I'm like, what? Yeah. So yeah, when you smell pulp, pulp, and I know George I knows this, and Timmy knows this, you smell pulp, and you're like, I'd rather wear G water. Hmm. Oh yeah. please. Or Baldefri. Baldefri. Yes. Baldefri. Which I'm going to get a bottle of too because mm -hmm. that's been my. Uh, I've been loving that one a lot, I've got to say. Okay. Oh, it's good. It's it's good. good. It's good. It's good. Love you. Gets you in the end. Paul P. Paul P. My boy Paul. Okay. That's 100? Um, yeah, 100 mil. Women's yeah. fragrances, boys. Anyone else? Um, G Mountain. Oh. <laughs> it's unisex, but I'd say it leans girly. Yeah, it leaves girly. Rose. I mean, like, like <laughs> we're talking about marketed towards women because those those are like marketed. That's a, sex. Yeah, and that's Three a question. Sex. So tell me right, thank you. Yeah. Um, man, am I like am I the only one who has girly fragrances besides? No, no, I've got a couple. I mean, I don't rock it, but this. I mean, that's about the only one I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> but this smells good. Galina. Yeah. All right, George, I, you it, I guess um, like like people said, uh, I I uh, reviewed this and then and went to town saying it was the most feminine fragrance that they've ever smelt. So I'm gonna put my hands up and say I absolutely love Mandolo. This is Tilia by Equity. Yes. People say that it smells so yes. feminine that I don't care. I freaking love Almond that. is such a an cream soda. Yeah. yeah. I, I really don't. I, look, now listen, if if a, if a woman that I liked was wearing it. Okay, fair enough. You know, um, I really uh, this is um, be no, helping is... you edit your videos. Ooh, hmm. ooh, ooh. <laughs> sorry. Is that sorry? <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, <laughs> I really like um, Dolce. Uh, Dolce and Gabbana. Everybody's just trying to trigger each other tonight. It's yeah. really been a trigger fest. Absolutely malicious show. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, Dolce and Gabbana, the one for females. I, I yeah. like that one actually. Well, I could wear that. Um, oh, and that I'm really one? getting into uh, Eau de Merveille. Bleu. That's a good That's fragrance. Sure, it's it's really good fragrance. Yeah. 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 I couldn't believe that. Nice. Yeah, so that's what I've been into. So cool. 
I know, Tim, you have one. Actually, I don't. A lot of my niche sense are unisex. Oh, I... I was, no, I was gonna say because hummingbird you gave to your girlfriend. Hum hummingbird for like for Victor, he said it's unisex. It's marketed unisex. So I don't have any oh. fragrances oh. that are marketed for women that I own. Nice. Oh, I, I own I own women's fragrances for review, but like I don't rock any of them. Okay, respect. Okay, good question though. Another one that a lot of people rock is Angel. Yeah. Angel. Yeah. Angel. I tried. I have tried. I just don't get it. Uh, I wear it. It is very strong. It was yeah. too, it, it's too strong for me. Um, Hello. It, it doesn't have a tar note, but it, everything else is just amped up. So. Yeah, I didn't know uh, dudes just rocking Angel. But... Yeah, on the Mugle forum, Steve. Forums. Oh, yeah, of course. Bear, boys. Uh, boys. Yeah. Men. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Right. Next, next question. What's the best Armoff fragrance, according to you guys? Mm. And that is JK. Okay, yeah, that's a good but question. He's not JK about that question. Hey, um, bars. Totally, totally SRS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super cereal. Yeah. Okay, okay, so okay. I'll let you guys start, because I obviously sure. have my Armoff opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah. I haven't really tried anything from them, to be honest. I know Train of Wheat is like what the Green Irish Tweed, and then they got uh, Clubs and Wheat Intense, Intense Man Woman, you know, which is the Aventus stuff. But uh, to be honest, I mean, I don't really have, I, I haven't tried them, so I can't really say anything on it. Uh, yeah. This is free. I'd have to say Clubs and Wheat Intense for women, for sure. But mainly because I feel like Noir de Noir, out of the OG Tom Ford Private Blend Collection fragrances, was the one that was hit hardest for reformulations, Formulation. at least for me. Um, so when I smell woman, it's not like it's accurate or anything, but it's like, okay, this will get the job done. Mm -hmm. Which I can respect. Uh, yeah. George or Tim? Go for it, Tim. Club New Eat Intense, man. Uh, Easily, yep. I guess. Yeah. Um, I only tried like two, three from their house. so It's hard for <laughs> us to try them because we don't have access to them. And then I'm not really into like flying by all of them to try them too. Exactly, yeah. All right, George. Um, I I just, I just stay away. Okay, fair play. Stay away. And, <laughs> and um, I have that. That mic. That mic. That mic, fam. That mic. That mic. That mic. That mic. That mic. That mic. I can't. I don't understand a word you're saying. Well, I, I'm not doing anything. Well, know, that's not our fault. <laughs> that's not our fault. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's all good. We, uh, is, is it better now? There we go. Because you sounded like Matt Hardy's Vanguard 1 for a sec, and then all of a sudden you're back normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I just, just, just done. What have you done, Brad? Come on. Uh, I didn't know this was going to spray. My bad. I'm sorry. Don't uh, mind Brad's me. Brad's decanting right now. Uh, I just got it all over my computer. Too. I've uh, done that on live stream. <laughs> yeah. on Wait, did you guys down. just hear that? He got it all over his computer. Pause. Oh, damn it, Bradley. Come uh, on. <laughs> Yo, he just pulled a butters. What is this? <laughs> Man, is... Yo, you're that guy. Whoa. What's going on? Whoa. Hold up a what second. What's that? You spray this from Solstice Sense. Solstice. Yeah, this is um, called Owl Creek Ale Works. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. It's like a Hold pumpkin up. spice Hold kind of. Um, Hold up. Like, Oh, would basic white girls are pretty Damn. Is that good? That's Starbucks in the bottle right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that pumpkin spot. Damn. Okay, sorry. That just blew my mind right there for a second. <laughs> now nah, I had to like, wipe off my computer because it's freaking... Okay. And I got on my pants, yeah. too. So, so, so real quick, um, um, our math, I stay away, but I've heard that their Aventus clone is the best Aventus clone mm -hmm. on the market, bar none. Okay. And uh, strong. Right. Yeah. James? Because I know you are a frequent patron of our moth. I am. Uh, I definitely am. Um, I actually have a Trey Nui review coming out tomorrow. Mm. Oh, um, yeah. wow. But, um, yeah, I have a few different categories. So in regards to um, which fragrances come the closest to whatever they're replicating, I think I would have to say it's uh, Clubhouse Belmont, which is an amazing, very, very accurate Terre d'Hermes Pure Parfum clone. Wow. It's really? extremely close. Hmm. And uh, I thought it was the EDT without the bright opening, but that's pretty much Pure Parfum. And um, the other one would be Craze, their Pegasus clone, which yeah. would obviously be a Dior clone. So it's a clone of a but, clone. Uh, 
<laughs> it's a clone, clone of a clone. Inception. And it's a very good yeah, clone of a clone. Inception. And for the like price, it's no. great. Very but, good price. Um, yeah. But of, of the unique fragrances, Ascot by Ruby Clubhouse. It kind of has similarities to uh, Original Musk by Kiehl's. What? Um, it's it's it's. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a clone of it, but yeah. it it has a, a similar vibe, and it's really good. And no one no one talks about it. Um, but to be boring, Club de Intense Man is is their, their best seller for a reason. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily the closest Aventus clone, but it's my favorite one because it does something a bit different. I always like to say that I like it more for cooler weather because of its How richness, it smokiness. And I don't have a 2013 or a 12 Aventus, so I don't, I don't, I don't think I will ever be able to replicate that smokiness. All the other pineapple stuff, I mean, you can go pineapple vintage, you can go La Venture if you want a pineapple Aventus clone, or you just go Aventus. But Club Dino Fitz Man does things different, you know? Oh, fair play. All right, yeah. I'll volunteer. The next question. Pure Malt or Pure Havan? Free, free. Pure Malt. Yeah, I would say pure malt too. <laughs> the boozy, boozy, boozy. Pure malt. Yeah, pure malt. <laughs> yeah. Pure malt because I have Naxos. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, pure malt's more unique too, I guess. And there's not as many, you know, even like just on a little bit lower scale, uh, Insurrection Wild smells pretty similar to um, mm -hmm. pure yeah, Havan. So, yeah, I oh, I, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, it's uh, I have it's been. like French vanilla dry down. I'm just gonna say this: F O H. Oh, <laughs> I knew it was coming. I just want to say though, listen, I, I think it's quite hard to call, but pure malt. I've been falling in love with that stuff all over again. I'm so surprised how much I still love that after. I mean, I even I even still love it, even though I can I know in the back of my mind it's synthetic. Yeah, like even if it's synthetic, which most fragrances are, it's just like I think what tips it over to scale for me is that because of the fact that I get better performance out of pure Havan, um, thus, more feedback from it. That's probably why it's tipping the scale for me. Because otherwise, scent-wise, it's fifty-fifty. But if I have to go onto other criteria, that's why I'm picking Havan. Yeah, but the thing is, with Pure Havan, there's, there's, I mean, there's so many like sweet tobacco fragrances. While that's there true, now. it okay. kind of like got the hype train rolling on the designer level, which I think it is does, really it, cool. does, it, it does, which is cool. But I think Pure Malt is 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 more unique. For me, I'd say so. I, I, I get that totally, that. Yeah. especially yeah. on the designer level. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But yeah. you know, if I'm one, if I want to run booze now, I, I got Killians now. So I think that's also why I'm saying this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Have you still got the uh, pure malt money or? Pure malt? No, I actually, um, I actually traded it recently mainly because, um, you know, it's not like I got, I got tired of the scent. But if it's gonna put a bigger smile on someone else's face, like you know, have at it. And um, I can't remember what I got in exchange. Oh, yeah, I got an extra bottle of Gucci Pour Homme Duh. That's what hey, there you go. Yeah. Uh, so I think that it was, was a fair trade on both people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No rats about it. Um, Tim, uh, have you answered a question yet? No. Pure Van. Yeah. Pure yeah. Malt is a very uh, it's... headache inducing for me, wow. personally. Um, Interesting. Yeah, Ooh, it's a nice scent. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot, but like, I, I'm gutted that I can't wear it without it giving me a headache. So, yeah, maybe the patchouli uh, and dry. I don't know. Maybe, oh. maybe it's that. But uh, Pervan is a lot more wearable and enjoyable for myself. But yeah. in terms of scent, I love them both. Um, but I just had to give it to Pervan. Savage scents. Both dry downs are really savage good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tim, um, is, imagine savage scents. <laughs> Chris Designer. Chris Designer. <laughs> I just want to quickly uh, say that um, intelligent hooligan prod, who has actually been like smashing it. Um, throughout this whole uh, stream, thank you so much for being so active on the chat. He said, um, "We only really care about synthetics uh, b because we're nerds." I disagree because, like, I know that pure malt synthetic, but it doesn't bother me. I, like the craftsmanship behind it gets away with it. It does bother me with pure Tonka though, mm. and I, and I actually sense that there's more mm -hmm. syntheticness in pure Tonka than malt and Havan and even the original. There's something in Tonka that, like, like um, that's so true because to properly replicate Tonka. Tonka's not cheap and to do it on a designer level like and make that the main player is uh tough without making it smell super synthetic. Well Tonka's Pure ta Tonka smells extremely syrupy and syrup I mean yeah. you know it's pretty it's pretty synthetic in and of exactly. itself, right? The way it's manufactured. Corn starch. Yep. So, it's a bit headachey. Yeah. yeah, I mean yeah. 
<laughs> it is what it is. Me, for me. I got a review of Kirtanka coming out soon too. Hey, crushing oh, it with a coincidence. Videos. Oh, yeah. got a point. What is going on with these coincidences with Jay Royal today? Oh, it's, been, it's been mental. Jay Royal is in the his house. He's yeah. in the royal court. Yeah. So yeah. He's, he By the way, turn the pot, the cauldron. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up? Yeah. All right. Yes, Brad. Oh, I say I I saw the vlog that you guys did when you're there, and James, your house, like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> that gym in the basement though. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that, that was sick. So we would good. replace the the North decals with LeBron and family. Is yeah, that, Look, is that what you're LeBron, that, as a, even though he's going to be going to the Lakers anyway, like next next season. Or whatever. That's right, he's going to the Lakers. That's no. right, he's going to the Lakers. Garbage. Well, guess what? The Lakers. We're going to win an NBA championship. We? Did you say that's the right. W word? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We're going to win an NBA championship. You're on that Lonzo train, aren't you? Dude, I'm from LA though. You know, like I was born there, so I'm like, mm. I, I can claim LA. Yeah, Raptors, so. no love, huh? No. Oh no, East. I got East and West conference team. That's what's up. Oh, can't be both. <laughs> I'm not hood hopping. I, I, I swear. Hood hopping, yeah. You're... <laughs> no, I, I've been one hundred. You know, that's what's up. But uh, you know, like that, 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 that is funny. Shout out to the Lakers. Um, next question by any chance? We got, got any more? I what's got up, one. Yes, you know me, bro. I know you. The Broadwalk again coming through. <laughs> what's the it. most expensive and cheapest fragrance in your collection? So now with this question, we can we can word it different ways. So ML value or just how much you paid personally, if you want to simplify it and you don't want to bust out a calculator like Manny. <laughs> Dollar per ML, I already know what it is anyway, so it's cool. Yeah. Shit. Like um, it's pretty much um, either Cazini, Black Number One, or Larry Bay by House Matriarch. Six dollars and sixty cents per ml or less. Six six. Wow. Yeah, and then the, the most inexpensive fragrance I bought is any clone from the brand Zara, which is the biggest textile brand in the world. Because I still don't know. <laughs> so um, anything from Rich Warm Addictive to any yeah. inner summer collection, literally those are the most inexpensive fragrances I've ever bought. Actually, I'm sorry, I lied. I, I lied. I lied. Um, it would have been Voyage by Nautica. Yeah. That's Boom. most inexpensive. That was around fourteen dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so same, everyone else. Yes, yeah, so that was the same way for me. Voyage from Nautica, twelve. I think I paid like twelve or thirteen. I must have got it at a good time or something. But seriously, one of my most complimented fragrances that I own. Not joking. Um, it's kind of crazy oh, how it worked sure. out, but yeah, it's just especially ladies love it. I don't know what it is, but whatever. It, and it costs a large pizza and a ham sandwich, which is yeah, really hundred mil too. Like it's crazy. Um. And then he's most he's a genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, most expensive is probably Mitza, but even though I got it for a good good price, uh, wink wink. But uh, <laughs> um, uh, I have I'm planning to get something which I can't tell you guys, but uh, it's, I'm planning to get something that's three fifteen and it's only retail, unfortunately. But at that point, which will be like one of my last purchases for a long time, uh, that will be my most expensive. So is it a city exclusive? Um, I do not believe, but it is a flanker of, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see it coming up in the next couple of months. So. It's a Killian. Shit. <laughs> possibly, possibly. I know what it is. Dottie. What is it? Dottie. Like, is it, is it actually like what I'm thinking? Is it Street Cabin? It's a Killian. Very close. Yeah, Probably Street Cabin Street. Street. How'd you know? <laughs> How do I know? Yeah. Because yeah. you said three fifteen, and, and I'm not sure. Price. So yeah. Like <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm. I'm planning to. Try, I tried it. I think I, a little while ago when I was on New Richmond. And ball. Yo, this is so. how you know you're addicted to fragrances when you just do a massive call out. Like price. That. Yeah. Here's the price, that's and here's so the brand. And then you know. Yeah. yeah, that's awful, man. So. This is what happens when you get into Killian. It's just a huge rabbit hole of like bullshit. And you're like, why do I like this crap? Like, let me, let me, let me get. Hold on, let me see this stuff. Like James, like, Tim, like y'all need to help me out. And Tim, you know this. I used to this is band all day. Yep. What happened, Tim? Well, what happened? Um, you uh, he's, you he's kicking you off. Said, you, said, what happened? Really what? I don't, I, I don't get this because like literally, this is milk and sandalwood, but I just love it. This Wait, you still got apple brandy? And then I got apple mosquito spray. I got apple brandy, <laughs> which spray. literally <laughs> got me nearly killed. 
by Yo, malaria. I'm still gonna get that bottle off you too. All right, we'll we'll be we'll be in touch. <laughs> oh, all right. End of the month, man. I'm about to cough right. that. End of the month, y'all. Y'all heard that? Yeah. yeah. So, it's official. <laughs> yo, get it. So, I'll get it. Yeah. Week, no, no, I got a price lock on them. <laughs> yo, yo, now. Oh my um, gosh. What did we agree on again? Uh, what what you put out there? No, we we can't say over the air because oh yeah, no, 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 we, no, because like of the governments. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be we'll be in touch. Yeah, no doubt. Straight up, straight up. All right, uh, Brad. Uh, Brad, I'm you are George. George. Um, <laughs> I don't yeah, know what's so, happening. Uh, I, I'm I'm way too sober for this right now. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> drink some pure out, right? drink some pure malt, and then you'll be good. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Jeez, I actually got genuinely drunk for that. Um, World World War Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually genuinely like nearly out of the count. Wow. Anyway, um, my most expensive uh, one. If we want to go like per ml, probably must grab a jaw. 140 for 50 mil that's 280 hmm. that's that's big um so I thought, no oh my god i can't believe it. it's a francis kersh it's aqua universalis oh 175 okay. 75 mil yeah oh man refresh yeah i don't know if that was worth it i mean i think it was I hope too it was. fresh too uh, fresh too fresh, yeah. too fresh over i'll be here. a judge of that <laughs> money Mate, you are, uh, mate, you're honestly gonna love um, Aqua Universalis. Fort. Don't bother with the Aqua Universalis crap. It's just full of alcohol. No, Forte. It's Forte is my Forte. No, it's got Ooh. so much more oil. Um, forty percent. This is legit. And the cheapest. I mean, I've had pound shop fragrances, but if we're talking about stuff that I've owned, that I own right now. Oh, Tim, that was so that was so wavy. <laughs> Wavy. <laughs> Probably. Um, Someone get that. <laughs> I've got. I've got a thirty mil molecular one. Ooh. That's 30, 30 quid. Molecular one. Okay. All right. Yeah, cool. thirty quid. All right. And uh, so. next up, J Royal. Uh, most expensive. I think it's either a Portrait of a Lady, um, what, Neo, or Blackbird. Yep, Blackbird. Yeah. Yeah. And then cheapest, it would be, uh, I got a two-pack from Zara of uh, San Francisco and uh, Seoul, South Korea. Mm. And I got both of them for 16 bucks, and they're 100 mil each. So pretty good. Yeah. It's a pretty good deal. Very <laughs> good I need to go to Seoul one day. Good boy. Mm. <sighs> All right. Next. <laughs> we are tapped out. Tim? Um, most expensive and most inexpensive per ml. Most oh man, this should be interesting actually with Tim. Yeah, yeah, I think for fifty ml, that beats no, yeah. charge pricing. Dang. We charge at three thirty for fifty. So, um, my cheapest one that I got uh, yeah. is from the House of Matriarch. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> no, it's the cheapest one I got. It was like a two hundred and fifty dollar freaking. No, no. <laughs> The cheapest one I got is probably Perry Ellis 360 Red. Is one of the cheapest. That's fine. Ones. Yeah. 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 No so uh, dildo. Yeah. Dildo action. It gets, <laughs> it gets pretty lonely here. In oh. Las Vegas. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, kid, hashtag leading Las Vegas. Anyone know that film? Uh, yeah. Uh, that being said, I'm going to scour the internet, aka our live chat, for potential. Other, uh, I got like, two uh, questions. Oh, oh, you'll also in, intelligent hooligan prod. I'm watching this again later. Just a screenshot to me putting that in his mouth for <laughs> purposes, <laughs> and that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, like, Tim is a, like a living meme right now. Living meme. How do you feel about that, Tim? I feel like the reason I'm so mellow in this live stream is because, like, oh yeah, I haven't eaten anything. I so, uh, uh, energy. Now, like, now I'm feeling a little more trolly. Like mm -hmm. I usually have in every other live stream. Again, Tim is the, uh, he's Rusty Ryan. He's always eating or drinking something. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Shout out to Ocean Celebrity. Just, yeah, just food just over G water. Food over G water. You, you heard it first. Anyway, James, <laughs> you said you had another couple questions. Yeah. So uh, just basic, your take on blank questions. Yes, so please. the first one I saw was your take on Womo by 
take a pick. No, <laughs> Salvatore yeah, yeah, for Adamo. Yeah, like Sal- Salvatore for Adamo. So, um, you know, not a brand new release, not Casual yeah. Life, the original one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, because Casual Life sucks. You heard it here first. Mm. Okay, uh, Brad. Tiramisu, right? Yeah. Um, it's very sweet, I will say that. Um, slightly synthetic, yes. Reminds me a little bit of Armani Code, a little bit of, you know, the syrupy, but it takes like, the, it has a nice coffee note. Um, I don't know, like, I would rather go with One Million Purvey, to be honest, over that. I mean, they accomplished almost the same thing since I already own this. I don't really have a purpose for, for that one, but it, it, it was nice. I did like it a lot. Um, very nice kind of coffee gourmand sort of a Italian dessert type set. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bottle sucks though. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. So we're going to. Is it me? Or? Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, bloody marvelous. Absolutely bloody marvelous. Um. I love it so much. Uh. There's just a creamy element that I really get. And damn, it is so easy to wear. Casually. It is the ultimate dumb reach. Don't have to even flinch or worry about it. Um, I, I was actually that was my scent of the day yesterday. Bloody Ooh. love it. I did a review on it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm 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 disappointed in Brad's feelings. <laughs> um, Sorry to let you down. <laughs> uh, no, but it's fine. I get it. I I kind of get the whole thing with Privé, um, mm-hmm. and I could imagine that you could kind of swap it out for Privé. But for me, yeah, it's just great. Ball sucks. Casual life sucks. Um, it's not but... like the one million Privé bottles, awesome too, though. Well, oh, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. It's a bit camp, it's but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's I... iconic Hella, which Uomo is not. So shout out to Paco. Yeah, yeah. but but scent wise, um, Uomo, Uomo. Um, probably one of my favorite autumnal designer fragrances of all time. Cool. Mm. Nice. Yo, Ozzy. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, Jay Royal. Uh, you know, it, it saddens me to say I really got tired of Womo. Um, yeah. I think it has one of the nicest, most pleasant designer openings I've smelt in a long time. Mm. But the dry down is very generic. I feel like once it settles. Right. It just it's kind of a plain Jane fragrance, which we can't really expect much more from a designer release, but um, it's one that I was really pumped for in the beginning when I first smelt it, but it kind of let me down over time, which is why I had to eliminate it from my collection. Um, oh. But but it, yeah, it's, it's undeniably nice, you know, especially in the opening. But uh, yeah, yeah. All right. No, not enough room in my in my fridge. Oh yeah. <laughs> but why go it? Yeah. Frag fridge. In, in yeah. the fridge, you instead have Lidge. Lidge <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> Hashtag nice. bars. Hashtag bars. <laughs> bars on deck like a cruise ship. What's up? All right. Tip. Bars heavy like triple XL. That. Yeah. That's from Drake, too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Drake. You would whip that out. Of course. <laughs> oh, good lord. And tip. How do you feel about Uomo by Salvatore Ferragamo? It starts off really good, and then 15 minutes later, it's like, why is it so sweet and metallic and generic? Yeah. Why? Why? Oh, why you ruin, make it? No. ruin the, the whole fragrance with the dry down? Tim, you want to arrange the trajectory of your microphone so it's in front of your mouth? Okay. <laughs> the oh, trajectory. I, was, I, was, I was saying, I was saying, um, opening is great. They ruined it with the dry down, which I agree with yeah. James completely. So like, I was, I, like, I love Gourmands. Of course, I was really, really hyped for this one as well. But I was like, oh, man, a Gourmand designer? Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, I smell it first. I was like, yay, it's so cool. And 15 minutes later, I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a sense of my language. I just don't like, I, 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 don't, I don't like that, like, it, it's so generic. It's such a generic, sweet fragrance that just, that has no no character to it when it's, once it gets to the dry down, which I don't like at all. Once it gets to the dry uh, down. There's a lot of character in the opening, but. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, the opening is, like, fantastic. It's one of the best openings in, like, like James said, that in a designer fragrance in a long, long time, yeah. Yeah. But they completely, it completely let it down when it comes to the dry down. Which that is the reason why I didn't personally buy it. Okay. Have I got a different bottle from you guys? Like, <laughs> for real? I don't understand. Hey, you know what? That's um, at the end of the day, like it's not the most interesting dry down, but mm-hmm. uh, the opening, I can see why it's justifiably enough it's to actually fall in love with. UK USA batch variation. 
Yeah. Ooh, USA batch variation. You got that UK bottle. Could could be different. Who knows? I hey. don't know because like I'm not uh, the the dry down doesn't blow my mind, but I really like the comfort in it. Oh, good. I find it super cozy. You know what? I think maybe it's because like it's it's a hard genre to maybe replicate with you know designer level ingredients as far as let's try to reinvent this um maybe outside of the opening uh but it, i i get why maybe you would just rather run with one million pre-bay i get that totally yeah i totally get that yeah so it i mean it, we're not we're we're all not saying it's bad or anything it's just cool it, it, it it's it's nice i guess uh i i personally like uomo i don't like it enough to own uh, that being said, if I do, uh, you know, if I do see it on a discounter for like maybe a tester, because I think it is worth getting a tester mainly because it's going to be hella discounted and it's not like that thing has a cap anyway. So it's still going to look the same bottle wise. So uh, maybe it's worth getting at like, you know, 30 Canadian one day. Who knows? Um, otherwise, it's a, you know, as great opening. Otherwise, it's all right. Um, uh, and Casey, Casey Road TV, we are talking about Uomo by Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, now, I see a g really good question I'd like to answer, if that's okay with y'all, because um, I don't think I've picked a question yet. Um, we have uh, Michel Nahas, good fresh rose scents. And the first Ooh. one that comes to mind is easily Lyric Man by Amwaj. Yeah. It's free, so free. So uh, that's the first one. The second one that comes to mind is uh, G Mountain, Green Montagna by Christian Dior. Uh, anyone else? <laughs> Maybe Rose Ikebana by Hermes is a good one as well, but they don't last. Um, I'd like to think this two fresh rose scents that I did mention actually have a little bit more uh, punch to them and I think are a little bit more accurate as far as what you want dollar per ml value-wise. But um, anyone else, fresh rose scents? Mm. That's a good one. I don't really own any, to be honest. Um, uh, rose Bob Bear by Galen. I figured you were saying that. That's a really good, bright, all the hick rose scent with some honey. Yeah. Mm. What's up? Yeah. This is when you I know you own too many girls. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I guess that you could argue with Rose Bob that it's not necessarily the sort of like the most freshest, but for me, it is. At first, um, it is. When yeah, it happens, is. Yeah. But, but when it, like, I love, I love the watery component. I'm not a big rose fan. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that straight out, straight out the bat. Um, and uh, G Mountain as well. Yeah, G that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah G Montagna. Yeah, I know it's synthetic, but I could see Declaration Don Soir being worn in the spring. Absolutely. You know, so yeah. that's worth mentioning. It's it's weird though, because like I know I had this conversation with Tim at one point. It's like yeah. rose is one of those like ingredients that I need to absolutely have. Really good quality of, yeah. like Declaration Soir is just, you smell it and you're like, okay, this is synthetic rose. It's no better as far as rose quality to like little team, by YSL, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm like, all right, it's all right. But at this point, rose is one of those ingredients that I, as a fragrance head, am willing to spend more for. So that's why I mentioned the fragrances I did. It's not like Dune Soir is a bad smelling fragrance. It's just, I think that. When it comes to that note specifically, the it's drastic, way more drastic as far as what's higher level and what's not, versus maybe like the bridge between gourmand um, fragrances is a lot less that way. If that makes any sense. So, um, but it's it's a good question. Anyone else have any more fresh rose scents? Um, I'm also interested in other fresh rose scents. If you guys have any in the comments, please let us know. Yeah. Not really, to be honest. Oh, um, I imagine scent has a really good rose scent. It's called Portrait of a Manny by Frederick Mall. Uh, Portrait of a Manny. Tim, you troll. I'm going to slap you. The troll Sam. comes to life. I have energy now. Like, <laughs> I have food. Yeah, he's he's normal again. And here's the thing. Timmy is <laughs> mad moody when he doesn't have food. I noticed that real fast. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I get tired. I get quiet. I'm not moody. I just get quiet. I need food. <laughs> Yo, that's such an Asian cop-out excuse. I'm the same way, so it's all good. Portrait of a Manny. Portrait of a Manny. Manny. <laughs> edition by Fedrick Mall. Yeah. Reflection, Manny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Oh, wow. You know what? It's funny, because like, I'm seeing all these like you know Manny puns, because like you can pretty much pun anything with any M. Wash fragrance with me. Yeah. But 
Mike. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, good luck. Oh, oh, no, no, I always thought if there was maybe um, a guy named Eric in the Fragcom who would start a YouTube channel, he can always call himself Generic Sense. Hey, there you go. Oh, good God. Generic. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be awesome? No. Bulgari Manny in Black is hilarious, though. Bulgari <laughs> Manny in Black. <laughs> Bulgari Timmy has the extreme. best best death stare in the Fragcom. Do I? Yeah, you know what you do. Oh my god! You, yeah. you have the steely Asian look in which I'm going to do what I have to do to, to survive on these streets oh, and then become the a yuppie <laughs> to a key. And that's yeah. me, straight up. <laughs> yeah, it is like he looks like he looks like he's about to blow seven hundred dollars on Comedy Garçon. <laughs> no, bro. He's, he's like, you. that is you. I would never blow seven hundred dollars on like a, a patch that I can put on myself on my own sweater. Mm. On, on a Muji sweater, <laughs> on, pretty much. On like a Chinese market sweater. Oh it's god. Exactly the same. Oh. oh, are we are we going there right now? Yeah. Hashtag sweatshops. <laughs> Hashtag sweatshop. Gotta support the fam, bro. Like our cousins made those. We gotta support them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this got dark super fast. <laughs> I probably started that. Sorry, guys. Oh, um, wow. Anyone else have any, uh, you know, things we want to meme on or uh, any good questions we have to answer? It's been a lovely stream, though, so far. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to have to, like, when it gets to half past, I I am I'm flagging a little bit. But, um... Oh, uh, real fast, um, <laughs> if you don't mind, George, uh, Joel Lima is asking, uh, "What's your takes on Parfums de Marly Hobdon?" Best fall fragrance. Okay, you heard from Bradley. Real quick, guys. Anyone That's what else? you need to know. <laughs> Apple, good Apple pie. Not a close. Apple pie. Yeah. Okay. Apple, caramel, myrrh. The, the Parfums de Marley that's always in Wajan's shadow. Mm -hmm. But uh, but they're both they're both top notch, I'd say, for the fall. Oh who 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 in the Fragcom says Oahan again? Oh. <laughs> oh, Han. Like, I, mean, I probably used to say that. I don't know. So I I didn't know how to pronounce it for the longest time. <laughs> I, I might just like go really like Merkin with it and just be like Ojin. Ojin. <laughs> Ojin. Yeah, it's just called Ojin. Brilliant. Hey guys, it's Parfums the Marley Ojin. Mm -hmm. It would be about it. Ohan. Ohan. by Jeremy. Ohan. Yo, shout out to JF. That's a big homie right there. Would you guys like to see JF <laughs> on a Team Top 5 cast? Oh my Let gosh. In the comments. <laughs> and um, imagine. Channel would explode. Oh yeah. yeah. 10K subs one day. Right there. Yeah. Not even a chance. <laughs> Free. Yeah. Free. Well, it's been lovely. So I'd like to thank you guys hey, for tuning in. You know, I um I, I gotta go, but if you guys want to stay, um that, that's totally cool. Don't have to don't have oh, to worry no. about it. Yeah. I mean I I got a flight to catch in less than ten hours myself. So that's actually true. That's facts. Yeah, so there's that. But uh okay. it's been a fruitful, awesome stream. You guys are awesome in the yeah. comments. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. We do this for y'all, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I don't even believe these casts are monetized yet, so uh, you know. Well, now, hey. Yeah. So shout Thanks out to algorithm. The... Thanks but, uh... to the Brad Apocalypse. Brad Apocalypse. Yeah. Now since I'm on here, it won't get monetized anymore. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh man, y'all hear that? Like it's just the sheer presence of Brad Apocalypse in the flesh. I'm too fresh. Know. They just can't handle it. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Yo, you have to tweet that. You have to post oh, yeah. that. Up. You have to spam it. Uh, I'm just too fresh for these adpocalypse spam. It's like all those fragrance reviews with the, with girls like like smelling fragrances, and they're like, "It's too fresh." And then That's the guy's me. like, "Really? Too fresh?" <laughs> <laughs> I should make a meme <laughs> off that. <laughs> too fresh. Too fresh. So we got too like fresh. It. We got. Okay, let's in, let's let's do an outro for all of our nicknames. So everyone, sign off. Starting with too fresh. All right, Too Fresh, Triple Ink, a.k.a. B-Rad, signing off. Of course, a.k.a. Too Fresh. A.k.a. Brad Apocalypse. Brad Apocalypse, yeah. Yes. yeah. And uh, Mr. Fragrance Apprentice. Yo, it's G-Money here. Um, England is still my city. And if it weren't for Team Top 5, 
then the world would be shitty. I'll now mm. pass oh, it over nice. to... Poetic. I'll pass it over to Timmy, because you know he stay late. Okay. Hey. I'm Timmy Turner, also known as Imagine Sin, also known as Timmy, for short. <laughs> uh, signing off. Peace. Yeah. All right. And uh, Jay Royal, X-Man. X gonna give it to you. Hey, when you hey. see again on your own, X going to deliver to you. Knock, knock. Oh. <laughs> but Jeez. that was awesome. <laughs> I'm cringing right now. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> All right, carry on, dude. That's it. That's right. it. That's about years left. X going to give to you. Yeah, and uh, you guys know who I am. I'm standard. The standard. The standard. Uh, no, no. I should just be hashtag standard. Hashtag standard. Hashtag yeah, standard. standard. That, I think that would, works. And you have to do this as well. Yeah. So, hashtag standard, cascade sense. Um, all of our links are in the description below. So thank you again for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week, I believe, uh, with Tim as the host. Yay. Nice. Yay. And Tim is up for perfect attendance. And don't worry, we will be doing um, awards at the awards end of the year. ceremony. Oh. I won. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. I want that for Tim. And so t- we want that for Tim. We'll do yeah. a. A WTF moment. We'll do a, you know, like the Slammies, George. You know what this is. Yeah. We're going to do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. For, for, for the show and for the Fragcom as a whole, I think that'd be lovely. But anyway, Not legit. that would be awesome. If you guys want to stay tuned, got some things I want to mention to y'all. And uh, I mean, you guys, I mean, in Team Top 5, but everyone else, thank you for being awesome. And see yeah. you. Peace. Bye.